Here we are. Episode... Five. Yeah, five of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, that. Overall cast, probably 21, 22. It's 21, no, this, 23. Will, this will be like 26 or something when it comes out. 26? <laughs> 26, <laughs> don't quote us. But anyways, I am Travis Snell. Dylan Muss. Kirk and Patzer. <laughs> Uh, Jessica. And Taylor. That just sounded so overly happy compared to everyone else. Yeah. It's very early. We do these early, these Star Wars ones. They're like two, I don't know, hours and ten minutes, something like that. But anyways, if you're watching along with us, we were officially at the, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. So, um, and yeah, episode five. The best one, apparently. Yeah, the best. I'd say it was the best one. I think I'd everyone else says it's the best one. I've made sure to put in the original copy of the movie, so there's no George Lucas uh, trickery or anything like that. Yeah, so. Taylor, you want to give us a rundown of what do you think of episode five? Like, before we watch it, obviously. What I think of it? Yeah, as well, the biggest Star Wars fan. You like, recap. Like, what's happened so far. Yeah, I think people need to know. I guess we should... Yeah, where are we? What if someone's just jumping into this and has missed all past four... Then go back and watch Star Wars! (laughs) What if they don't want to? (laughs) They don't want to watch the original Yeah, what if they only have time to watch two movies before they go see the new one, so they start for five and six? You don't know people's situation. You can't judge them. (laughs) So where are we? Where are we, Taylor? What... Where are we at? Right now, it's been, a, it's been a few years now since the Death Star got God, blown up. a few up. years. Yeah. I think it's been like three years. That's crazy. It's been three years, I think. And so Darth Vader is now obsessed with finding Skywalker. Right there. It's a so young, young, young Skywalker. A young Skywalker. Yeah. But they've set up a new base. He on, doesn't specify. <laughs> they've set up a new uh, uh, rebel base on the uh, Hoss system. And they're hiding out there. And the Empire, which you'll see here, is sending out probe droids all over to every corner of this galaxy wow. to find them. So Taylor just read you the rolling down <laughs> credits pretty much. So. <laughs> if you're not watching, that's great. Can you move the laptop thing Nope, now? that's... It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I glued it, grin jerk. Yeah, should you close it fully? Does it still good? record? It yeah. Still fully? I don't turn my laptop on to that. I'm not in that kid shit. Just, but it goes into sleep mode, doesn't it? No, I turn that all off. Yeah, you can turn that off in the settings. What? Yeah. Oh my god. That's what happens, what when, you're dark, that's what happens when you're on the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> you got a laptop with special features. I have a desktop, so... So as you can see, because we watched, we're watching the original one, unlike that last one, it's not full screen, and you can see it looks a bit, like, older, but I think that's good. That's not yeah. a bad thing, like... So that's Hoff. We're it's at a snow planet, planet, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Gee, the whole I planet's actually didn't know that much. That's good. <laughs> appearing in the newly released Battlefront. <laughs> oh, creeping. What type of droid is that, Taylor? That's an Imperial probe droid. Oh, I should have known. That's a perk. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty weak. In the new game? Yeah. The, I think the Rebel ones are stronger. I love how you can summon those little R4, R2 droids. Oh, he's yeah. not one of these... Uh... Tauntauns? Tauntauns? Yeah. Can you, can you ride one in the new Tauntons? game? No, you can't. No. That was well, kind that, of disappointing, yeah, but just, maybe yeah. me in DLC, I don't know. Wait, were they in the last uh, Battlefront? Battlefront 2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Battlefront yeah. 1. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I thought, Battlefront 2 is best Battlefront? They could, oh, yeah. they could come into DLC because DICE does put out vehicles and new weapons in their DLCs. Well, a good idea would probably just be to include all that in the game. Oh. Yeah, but if then they include it all in the game, then they don't have nothing for people to look forward to in expansions. And then it's people can be happy that they <laughs> paid for the price of the game and don't have to pay another fifty dollars. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> Luke is here. On his taunt taunt. Finish the circle. That taunt taunt. That's good. Look at that practical. Well, not that shot. Yeah. <laughs> but the. Look at it. It kind of looks like we're watching Never Ending Story. Yeah. Oh. Um, what when never end her story come out? Like nineties, right? Probably what? And this is what, like eighty three, eighty four probably? Do you think that's the same? Oh wow. Oh, uh, that Tauntaun gets killed. The Yeti. I was gonna say, oh, is that the same Tauntaun that gets cut open? Is, I don't think that's technically the name the Yeti. Is it? What's name? Do you know their names? The abominable snowman. <laughs> <laughs> that's close. <laughs> They're Wampas. Right, Wampas. I, I don't think that was close at all, actually. <laughs> I remember Hoth Hunt. Did you just make that up on the spot, Taylor? No, it's true. <laughs> Wampa is Hothian for a bottle of snowman. Has anyone ever fact-checked anything Taylor's told us? Look no. it up right now. It's my whole life I have him. I accept it. <laughs> I just accept it. It's now canon, whatever he says. <laughs> it's all gonna be in the new movie. <laughs> 
We got Han Solo here. There's not much to talk about yet. There's yeah. a lot of shots of people walking around. We've seen Han, we've seen Chewie. Han's gonna go pick up some power converters. What do you think that they're doing a movie of Han and Chewie? Like, just them? I don't think... I know they're doing a Han movie. They haven't said if Chewie's gonna be in it or not. No. I thought it was both. It's supposed to be Han and Boba Fett, right? Mm. So, yeah. it might be before Chewie or after. I don't know. I would like Chewie, but... I feel like he would have to make a little... I hope so. Appearance good there. old cameo. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about just a movie about Han Solo, though. I feel pretty happy. It's pretty solo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love Chewie, but Han's probably my favorite character in the entire series. And probably Luke after. Really? Yeah, I like Luke a lot. He's really, especially in the third, uh, well, whatever, the sixth movie. He's, uh, he's pretty badass. He has that cool black suit, and he has a black glove, and he has a green lightsaber. I always had a soft spot for the green lightsaber. It's my favorite. Another question. Did anyone actually read the link that I sent about what's-his-face actually being a Sith Lord? Jar Jar? Yeah. I've seen it before. I, I saw, like, that title, and I was like, okay, I accept it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's canon. canon. It's canon. Yeah. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually need to read it. I just know it's true. So right now we're getting some big sexual love tension between Han and sexual Leia. Sexual love tension. Which I'm sure has been going on for years. Oh, probably. Yeah, but there's still a little bit with her and Luke, too. That's Because they make out. No, I don't think so. Yeah, a little bit here, they end up doing that. No, but she does there. that to make Han jealous. She doesn't do that because she likes Luke. So she doesn't know that they're, like, brother sister no. yet? Neither Luke, Luke. knew. Not at that point, <laughs> no. Luke. He didn't know in the third movie. So where's Han trying to go, Taylor? He's trying to go pay off his debt to Jabba the Hutt or he'll get killed. Which apparently is, what, has been going on for years now? Yeah. Well, just three years now. Well, they talked about it in the last movie. Mm-hmm. And but that means and that was at least three years ago, you said, right? Yeah, it should be three years. But that means between... that comment? You could use a good kiss? Ooh. Yeah, some foreshadowing and there. that's why she kisses Luke. Um, <laughs> why... That's my problem, is why didn't he go pay off those debts sooner? He had three years. I think he just kept getting caught up here. He was partying. He was Disney's... celebrating the, the death of the Death Star. Pretty much. <laughs> Disney's put out um, a few books that explain what he's <laughs> yes. been up to between uh, episode 4 and 5. Maybe well, and comics. Out. And comics, yeah. yeah. That's what I come up with. Maybe it's a movie. Maybe that. What? Maybe the movie that they're coming out about Han Solo. Just it's supposed to be before movie. they meet each other. You know, maybe it like ends with him meeting Tree. <laughs> you don't know these things. Who knows? No, but I was asking about like what happened between... Uh, like this one, the last one, because he has a debt to pay off to yeah, a monster. Yeah, maybe that's the new movie that's about no. Han Solo. <laughs> no, because he's with them already. He's with Chewie. He's with the whole gang. But the how do you know gang. for those three years that he wasn't with Chewie? He can he get was. down to a lot of stuff. What are you years. saying? You're giving me a headache. I don't understand. I don't know. I wasn't here for the last movie. Maybe I'm missing some crucial information. He, for Jabba the Hutt... I feel like that every scene. <laughs> <laughs> for Jabba the Hutt, he has a debt in the last movie that he has to pay off. It's been three years since then. So it's like, why didn't he not go... And that, in this part, he's all concerned about trying to go pay off his debt. It's like, you had three years. Like... Now I have a lot more understanding why Java's Maybe pretty Maybe you guys work differently in this galaxy, Travis. You know what? I kind of understand, because I got student loans that are three years old. But, but no know. one's threatening to kill you. <laughs> well. Yeah, <they're laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Trump 2016. No. I have no bearing on us. You know, it's interesting Take why... Take over Canada. <laughs> yeah, people who have the student loans. <laughs> they made Skywalker a commander, and all he did was blow up the Death Star. Well, I mean, he's just a young Three teenager. years, though. We don't know. Well, Something still, else could happen. Yeah. Still, I mean, he's not. I don't see him as a qualified leader just yet. The reason he has um, this scene taking place, I talked about a bit of the last podcast. In between the first one and the second one, he got in a big car accident and it really damaged his face. Oh, really? So that's why, for like the beginning of the movie, he's always bandaged up because you can see, like, if you remember what his face looked like in the first one, like it's very like kind of tiny and small, but now like it's like kind of his eyes kind of move. So this like, is actually like all of him actually deformed. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, like, I think they probably had like a little blood, but it was after the car accident. Oh, That's cool why scene. he's a commander. He gets in a car accident. He still comes <laughs> <He's>, in film. <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with that. So now Luke is trying to use the Force to get his lightsaber. Not doing a very good job of it, though. He just needed to focus up. Exactly. Now, how do you think he's been learning these whole three years without Ben? Do you think he's just practicing? I think Ben's been there. I think Ben, like at the odd time, like when he blew up the Death Star, he was like, use the Force. So I, I think guess. he's probably like, stay calm, Luke, and he'll be like, what the hell, and then he'll stay calm. How do you know it's three years? 
Uh, it either said in the main intro. Killed the Wampa. Yeah, he killed the Wampa. Brutal. Yeah. Well, he's just trying to took a fend for his family. <laughs> just like killing Wampa rats back in Tatooine. Mm. <laughs> so he escaped. Oh, now he's done for. That. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. Which this is, to be honest, this is a plan I really want to see come back. I don't know if it will in the new ones. I don't know if they've said, but I really want to see Hoff come back. That'd be cool. Because it's. I feel like that's maybe everyone's favorite planet. Yeah. Like this beginning of the movie is everyone's favorite. Like the battle, like. You look at every battlefront, like, that's what people want to play the most. Like, any time, like, the map comes up and it's not Hoth, you're like, Fuck. Well, it's, it's, it's not Hoth in the new, the new movie. No, what I'm saying, I'd like them to go sure. back. Like, that's not the Starkiller base, right? Or what if that was? It, what, in the new Ice Planet? <laughs> yeah. I think it could. It could well, be. there you go. Because in the new movie, they've made a new Death Star, but it's, like, out of just a planet now. It's not even a ship. That's like pretty efficient. Planet. Yeah, the they didn't. Whole they didn't planet. have enough to build an actual space station. They had to build it on a planet. <laughs> just like Kylo Ren's last two. They, they gave up on that planet. <laughs> yeah, losing too much money. Just coat the planet in some metal. <laughs> so Luke's just chilling in the middle of off, not doing too well. So I looked it up because I was interested. This episode came out in 1980, and Never Ending Story came out in 84. Okay. So I guess the big Seems flying right. dragon, you know, might have had some influence from this. Wow, eighty. Because they do look very similar. I thought it was a lot longer. Or maybe that thing was just lying around the studio, and they're like, "Ah, oh, let's use this movie." <laughs> <laughs> Save it's ourselves hap- on some prop making. <laughs> Legit, you'd be surprised. It happens a lot in movies. I, I actually, Between yeah, I that and sets, big time. Like sets are overused. I think all it'd be time. a crossover. Maybe Tauntauns are like a prehistoric ancestor to the Never Ending Story. <laughs> all right, thing. Yeah, Taylor, go. I'm gonna shut you down right now, saying I have no interest <laughs> in a Star Wars Never Ending <laughs> Story <laughs> crossover. <laughs> We've talked about crossovers many times, like Marvel Jurassic Park. This one, not so much. Oh, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can ship it. Luke just writing that. It's whatever never story, like, <laughs> whatever that affiliated with Disney anyway, we could have the dream come true. I don't think it is. No. <laughs> so we want a big announcement that we're making doing a never end story commentary track, <laughs> which is gonna suck because there's only one good movie in the rest. Extended edition. Yeah. Big announcement. I'm gonna be sick for those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of us. It'll just be me. Well, no, it'll just be Taylor. I do. It's a crossover. <laughs> So now they're all, this is like, they're getting all concerned about Luke now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they're all concerned to kiss about Luke. Well, Solo's out there, too. Yeah. Fun. And C-3PO's being positive, because they have a 725 chance to one of surviving. That's not some good that's, odds. That's what you want to tell a girl who loves a man out there. But C-3PO doesn't know that. I don't think he can pick up love. I love her hair in this. Very, very, very classy. I agree. Pretty classy. I don't think it really trumps what Amidala is in the first ones, though. For her, I think it does because like... she's going for quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. Amidala's is like, boom! <laughs> Where hers is like nice and little, but it's like, it's boom! Nice. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sorry for your eardrums if that really hurt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Luke would be dead by now. Five minutes out there like that? You... But he has the force. Yeah, but it's not going to keep you warm. Ah, I disagree. He has force home your He's got a onesie on underneath his outfit. There is a force power where you can make other people around you stronger. I think if he could maybe muster up some power, like, oh, I'm a little warm. Why don't you just, like, turn on the lightsaber and, like, hands around it, like... That's very know? dangerous, I feel. <laughs> One wrong slip and... Yeah, well, Luke you're gonna die anyway. That's true. At least you're warming up. Alec Guinness back. He's talking to Luke. Now, why... Is, why? Why do you Brain? think... Brain? What is brain? That's brain. the sound that the tongue is. You're praying, but to bed. Praying. Hang on, guys, I got a brain before we go. Um, that was good. We got rid of that. Um, why do you think now, after three years, he fi- he's finally telling him about Yoda and to go to the Dagobah system? It's been three years. That's my only problem. Why? There's all this stuff happening now that should have happened a lot sooner. Like, Han playing off his dad, like Ben telling him about Yoda. Because that's three extra years he could have been training with Yoda. And especially Yoda dies pretty soon, so it's like that. He could have those three years could have been very vital. They could have been, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's just been really, really busy. <laughs> ben? Mean, no. Be dead? Yeah, ben, Ben's been busy. <laughs> Ghost Ben's <laughs> really busy. He's been with Shmi. <laughs> oh god. No, I think Luke's been busy because he's been he's a commander now, so obviously he's been up to stuff with the rebellion. So he probably just hasn't had the time, and I he know. hasn't he probably Ooh. hasn't really opened up to the Force until he just did there. Which know. probably let Ben in a little bit. Seems a lot of plot holes, but... I like seeing um, Han with a lightsaber. Anytime I see a character that doesn't like use lightsaber, I like that. It's kind of cool. You know? I think it's he's just... the only non-Jedi to use a lightsaber in the entire trilogy, isn't he? I think... 
someone might hold it, but I don't think anyone uses it. I feel like someone holds it when they take it off Luke when he's on Endor. I feel like a god. Yeah, that, yeah, that's I don't think true. they're like, hey, Luke! <laughs> 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 Bitch, you got your lightsaber. <laughs> that could happen in The Force Awakens for sure, if my theory is right about Finn being like a red herring. Like, you know, I don't know if he's a Jedi or not, but... So now... Oh, yeah, Hunt's just chilling, waiting, ho- hoping for someone to figure find him. Yeah. One what of those ships so hard to drive on Battlefront, too. Their ships are even harder to drive on Battlefront. Yeah, they're, they're easy to trip walkers in Battlefront, too. I, I think maybe one time I've been shot at the sky, every other time it ends with me just crashing. Yeah. So I try to make sure I crash into the AT-80. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Because now, when I played the beta, it didn't work. But now it works. Mm-hmm. When I played the beta, it must have been a glitch. Because whenever I crashed, it did nothing. I'd crash in a Vader and you'd just be there. And I'm like, really? What the fuck? <laughs> but, yeah. Whoa, this is Rogue Two. Can you see that? Yeah. Is that reference to the new movie? Yeah, they made a reference back in the 80s. They knew they were going to have a movie come out in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're, thinking, um, they're really thinking ahead. They use the Force. Which I've been so annoyed. Like, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this because they're literally just looking for Han right now. Um, George Lucas, have you seen all week? He's been, like, doing interviews and whatnot, saying, like, why he's not directing Star Wars and this and that. It's like, because they didn't want you. They bought the stuff from you. Mm-hmm. Like, he's acting like he walked away. It's like, man, like, they bought it. And he's like, you want my help? And they're like, no. And then, like, that was it. Like, he's making it sound like he turned them down. It's so annoying. Like, I had a toy of this. Um, I had like a toy. That sounds like f- an awful toy. You could fill. It you was. Go in there. We're at the part where. <laughs> hey, son. We're at the part where Luke is all hurt, bad up, and what? Bad. What are the tanks called? Back to tanks. Yeah. So, uh, I had one of those where you had the banged up Luke, and you could change him, but you could also like fill it up with water and whatnot. It was really cool. Know. Yeah, I had a Mister Freeze toy like that too, where you could I do that. I think I had a Lego set similar to that. Yeah. So, so is it like actual scars on his face? I could be like. I know the ones around his eye definitely are, because like you can tell his eye is um, a bit different. But oh, now here comes the the classic, which I love that her hair is very different colors. But I won't get into that. Like look Incest. at her look at her bun. And it's about the same as Chewie. That's a bit different. It's all over. <laughs> like it's kind of sprinkled in. Where hers is just like really dark, and then the loops are really brown. <coughs> Chewie probably you know, that, hooked that her up. That happens naturally with hair, though. With his product. Okay. Because the longer, Air you, yeah, the longer think your hair, hair goes, is the more sun it gets. Oh, okay. And then as the longer it gets, the more sun it gets, the lighter it gets. So your roots will actually be darker than your tips roots. usually. So that okay. could legit be a thing. But do you think she's seeing much sun down there? Well, it's been three <laughs> years, you know. Maybe she's been <laughs> a couple years of sun tanning. That's true. Well, Han's not Ooh, offended scruffy at looking. He's offended at scruffy looking. So, yeah, we're at the part where the infamous brother-sister kiss is going to come. And Whoa, spoilers, man. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen this, then look away. Look at Shui. He's like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Shui's like, look at Han. Han's into it. <laughs> uh, no, he's not into it. He's trying to, like, brush it off. <laughs> <laughs> Luke. Shui was, like, singing there. <laughs> my whole thing, as like I said, I always wonder if they did have it planned the whole time for them to be brother and sister, or why did they pursue this type of stuff? I don't think they did, because I... I heard, like, that they didn't... Like, even the actors didn't know that they were, like, going to be end up bro- being brother and sister. Right? At the point, like... Apparently when Darth Vader said to Luke, like, I am your father, that, was, that wasn't that was originally, like, what the plan was. But they, they, they went with that. And that's why Luke's reaction is a very authentic reaction, because Luke just went with it. That's he a didn't. lie. It is? Because so, yeah. like, that's what I heard. Mark Hamill, I never, I never he talked sure about though. that this week. He's the only one who knew. And he had really? it in his contract. If he didn't tell anybody, he'd get paid a certain amount. Really? And he has that for episode seven. Okay. So the rest of the cast doesn't know like all these secrets except for Mark Hamill. That's, so Leia, that's never, awesome. Leia then never knew that. No, but Mark okay. Hamill knew. Okay. So, but, and he got paid extra money, so he definitely didn't want to so say So Mark anything. Hamill's the actor for Luke? Yeah, he's the actor. And same thing with the newest one. He knows these secrets, apparently, for number seven, which is supposed to have all these big secrets. And if they don't come out, he gets paid like an extra amount of money. Really? So, so, so Luke's in the new one again? Yeah. Well, he says he actually can't confirm that he's in it, but he's in it. Well, I just looked it up. Apparently, episode seven is thirty years after. Yeah. Yep. So he's got to get be. He'll be like old Ben. Like he'll be like that Luke. He's gonna have a beard. He's gonna like. I think he'll be very he'll be, minor character in the seven one and eight one. Well, it's gonna be, be kind of awkward if people are praying to Luke saying they're gonna go lay. They're gonna, they're gonna be laying. Instead of laying. <laughs> laying. <laughs> <We're gonna be laying. laughs> Let's go get some Ew. laying. <laughs> and then they'll, then they'll be finning in a couple of years and raying. <laughs> or Ren. <laughs> Kylo Ren. That doesn't work at all. Kylo Ren. <laughs> Kylo Ren. 
And now we got a lot of Death Stars traveling. Death That's, Stars. I always say it's like Death Destroyers. Death Destroyers. I don't Star think it's called the Death Destroyer. <laughs> Star Destroyer. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. They're Death really close Stars. together. So like, I I know they don't, but let's say the Rebel Alliance had a huge massive weapon. They could take them all out pretty quickly. Like they should maybe space so. Like, why do these ships need to meet around each other? Well, because oh, they're all... They're putting on a show. They're shot Vader. off. Yeah, <laughs> First shot of Vader in this whole Asia. movie. Great shot of Whatever him looking you're... over. And there's a shot very much like that in the new trailer. Kylo with Kylo Ren. Ren. He's very looking similar, out. So, yeah. once again, it's, it's very great. Well, we don't know, but it's going to be very great. Let's hope. Is that Piet? Captain Piet? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. cool. I like him. Okay. okay. Yeah. I hate him as a kid. But that's what <laughs> you're supposed to. You're supposed to not like the bad guys, so... Now, what is... I can't remember. Obviously, they're going to talk and let us know, but what is their newest plan? Oh, right. They just want to go attack Hoth for the base. Well, they just they want to find the rebels. Right. And this guy's like, oh, it's probably pirates, and Vader shuts them down. It's like, that's it. Yeah, the rebels are here. <laughs> uh, Shut down again. <laughs> yeah. You don't do that. That guy's going to quit, man. I saw a clip yeah. this week of the actor doing the voice, like not James Earl Jones. Have you ever seen that when it's a guy doing the voice that was underneath the costume? Oh, he just has to move and he's, is he talking? Like, no, I, yeah, he's like the guy that's under, like moving. He does the talking. It's yeah, awful. Yeah, I've seen some of that. It's awful. It is Thank awful. God they changed the voice. It's awful. Why? What's wrong with it? Like, it, the voice just is not good for Vader at all. Like, it's just like, it's a regular guy being like, we need to get the rebels now. <laughs> and it's just like, it's like, oh man, it could have been so much worse. Okay, the Millennium Falcon is blown up. Which how do you play with the Battlefront? What map? Is that the uh, it's on, No, it's on only. It's only on air maps, I think, okay. as far as I know. And, and you just you find the hero icon. Look at that trendy orange <laughs> suit. Without that stuff, it looks really lame. Like without the gear and whatnot, yeah. Luke was just wearing like his orange suit. What's Luke doing? Hugging Chewie. Oh, that's a hug. You just like grab it. Yeah, yeah, I was really worried for a yes. second. It was a bro hug. Because we just have subtitles here, folks, so we don't hear everything. So like, like he just grabbed him like Jesus. Nice and healed. I sense some, some possible tension here. Look at him. Oh yeah, he, he's macking on his girl. Oh, be careful. But they're always friends, you know. Some bro love. One of the Dagobah systems. So I'm very excited to see what happened in the newest movies. Like, why Luke is not around, you know? Because, like, he has a sister, and Han's, like, one of his good friends. Like, you think they would have kept tabs on him, you know? I think he went to exile for a reason. Well, yeah. Maybe he's Kylo Ren? No. No, definitely not. <laughs> We're not going to get into this. I like it. I like it. <laughs> How do you think outside the box? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the name of Darth Vader's capital flagship? Oh, hang on. Uh, the oh, that's not a company. No, I don't. Rogue Three. Close. <laughs> close. That oh, sounded no. like a legit oh, right. name. <laughs> it's the executor. Uh, that, yeah, pretty close. That's a Pokemon. I think as a kid, I thought it was like the Exquisitor or something as a kid. Exquisitor. Yeah, Exquisitor. Exquisitor. I just saw the spelling. I'm like, the Exquisitor. <laughs> Coming. Oh, it's later on in this movie. You do get to see half his head, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had this too. I had the little ball toy right now. Vader sitting in like his like, what is this even? His chambers? Like what it's is this? It's where he sleeps. It's, it's hot tub. <laughs> Anyways, this ball that Vader sits in. Anyways, this ball that Vader sits in. I had it as a toy, and you could take off his helmet and see. It, it was really cool. I had so many Star Wars toys. Like now that I think about it, which obviously that's why they're billionaires. <laughs> So now Admiral has failed Vader for the last time. <laughs> He's choking him through the screen, which is great. While he promotes uh, PS. Oh, he doesn't Admiral. even need to put his hand up. Yeah, anymore. he doesn't even put his hand up. He's just like. He's no hand in it. <laughs> Look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Shmi is very proud. Wow. Shmi, been dead for like 20 years in this film franchise. Still can't be left <laughs> alone. the hearts of. Us. Uh, so why does the princess? She like. Why is she giving out these commands? Like they. Have she's the princess. Yeah, you like, answer that question. She's the she princess of Alderaan, Alderaan the but not of the rebellion. She's the princess of Alderaan, not the rebellion. Alderaan's yeah, but done. you still. She's still. I think would have like higher authority still than this commander guy, right? That's leading them. Like at the end of the day, if she comes in like veto something, I'll be like, we gotta go with the princess because. Fuck, she's a princess. Like, she was the one that ended the first movie handing out those awards. Like, she might be a princess, but I think she's, like, one of the biggest, like, political figures. Yeah, so true. I think it's, like, we don't know what she did before she was a princess, right? Or during, she could be doing politics all the time. 
Like like three years have gone by. She could have exactly like the look mayor of like look at Pad <laughs> look at Padme. She was just a senator, but she was still always doing stuff to help out like the, the world. Right? <laughs> the mayor of you know what I don't get here? They have she's a princess and the mayor tattooing. Her. They they mention this in the Family Guy version, but they have anywhere to go out from leaving the planet, but they decide to go directly into the Star Destroyers. Yeah, balls to the wall. No kidding. Why didn't they? They only uh, leveled up their melee, so they have to. <laughs> I guess Luke didn't think about this, but they really should have put that face on Tatooine, right? Why? Because Vader wouldn't have went there, right? Yeah, but he still would have sent troopers there. I know, but he goes down in a hospital. Yeah, but he right? didn't have to, because he didn't even dish out his lightsaber. He just walks through the tunnels. But I'm off. saying, you could eliminate that <laughs> totally, Vader, no Vader at all. I and guess Vader so. might not want to even, like, don't you think it would hurt him even, like, lo- like when he looks down that planet... And since there's all the rebels here, don't you think that would even hurt him just looking down on it? Yeah, but he must have looked down on it because in episode 4, he was in the Star Destroyer above Tatooine. Uh, he just never went down onto it. It's like the Headless Horseman on the bridge. <laughs> he can never cross. So now we're getting into the big battle scene. Adat's coming. Do you, does anyone know what Adat stand for? Mm, no. I know, but I have a feeling you're going to tell it. I uh, walking All gamble. terrain... Oh, uh, yeah. Attacking Titans. You were close. You awesome. got the first part right. <laughs> awesome. All right. What's the Titans. Key? Awesome Titans. Awesome Titans. Android. Androids. That's too many Tokens. letters now. Tokens. No, it's not ads. Like, no, but we already know it's all terrain. Yeah, we already know half of it. All, all terrain armored transport. Ah, you were so you close, were, yeah. though. Thanks. Uh, I think I'm still going to stick with that at and not say the long form, but that's okay. So we're gonna see Dak take on the whole empire by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Dak, get ready to suck some Dak. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually the best part. Steady Dak. <laughs> I feel like I could take on the whole imperial fleet. Oh really? All right, guys, Dak's got this one. <laughs> so yeah, right now. Oh, the we're movie. in the classic hog move. battle. That armor is so. too strong for blasters. You guys got some uh, what is all terrain? Uh, transport carriers or whatever they are in the new Battlefront. Yeah, yeah. they suck uh, to so play they, as. So they actually got those, at least. You, you know? can play as them, too. They were better in Battlefront 2 and 1 yeah. to play as. Yeah. <laughs> Everything so far. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't I don't know, like I don't know. I don't know. I think they... You, okay, Taylor, maybe you know. How come you can walk in lava in the new game and it doesn't like hurt you? I don't know, because I haven't walked in lava, so I have no comment on I that. I did. Because I tested it, and I'm like, it, it does nothing. I just said that it was probably too thin, and yeah, boots. <laughs> Force power regenerating boots. boots. <laughs> Force power. Yeah. Luke, charge up my boots. After, <laughs> after Anakin fell in the lava, they didn't take no risks. <laughs> yeah, we need to make these boots good. <laughs> <laughs> was that Dak? That was Dak. No, my Dak. <laughs> that Luke moment when you realize I'm fine. <laughs> oh, Luke is driving, right? He's not shooting, or is he He's shooting? flying. Okay, he yeah. can shoot, but... Not as well. The only reason they have guys in the back is just for the tow cable, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, these suck to play with in the game. It's They don't do much. Yeah, and you have time, too. I don't like that. Yeah, I played them in the beta. I was like, that's enough for me. <laughs> but when you, you can do a lot of damage if you're close up. It's, like, I give these... These Imperials are, like, pretty damn good. Like, this is the only time you're going to see Imperials actually shoot their targets. They're well, taking down. Vader's right there. And we, yeah. we established this. And you said, like... Hey, there, there actually was something called Rogue 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if in the first movie when Vader like um, gets the princess the first time they're shooting very well we've established that anytime Vader's around they're on their game there you go yeah, we, we right. gotta make I sure for, I forgot about that <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> you might force choke us no I'll kill you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jump, I was gonna say if my boss wanted to kill me my, I'd be perfect at everything I do <laughs> He's having a blast. You see that smile on his face? Smiling as he's tripping up the AT. Looked like a pretty weak cable. I don't know if this would work. What happens when you have to CGI in the cable? (laughs) You don't know what it's made out of, okay? That's true. Like Wolverine, he's just a man, but he's made out of the most destructive, or non-destructive metal of all time. He's just a man. What if that cable made something like that? There was conflict here, like, why all of a sudden they were able to blow up the walker's armor, um, because it was downed all of a sudden? There's a weak it. point on the top. There is a weak point, yeah, Ooh. now they were able to get it at the neck. Seems like the, the empires have a problem with leaving those weak yeah, points those open. little holes. <laughs> yeah, everything's perfect, but this one. <laughs> to make it fair, let's put a big weakness yeah. in this thing. That's what Vader says. 
well, shouldn't we, like, cover it up? Like, no. <laughs> I don't need to test you guys. <laughs> so I gotta make sure that you could still be killed. Okay, Vader. It's really fucked up, but... We could just win. <laughs> that clearly was not actually vacuumed on R2, yeah. but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'll let it fly. He was the 80s. That's I mean. That's the only thing that sometimes doesn't hold up in these movies is the effects, but they're still really good. Like... No problem whatsoever. I wonder, do you know where they actually filmed this? Hoth. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Bastard. Canada. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to find that out as a viewer's fact. Yeah, Canada. Oh, we got ATSTs. That's the first I time you see I love those guys. Them. I love those guys. Okay, so ATSTs, so all train. You would think, but no. Now they switch it up. <laughs> you know, okay. it's close. It is. All train. What are ATTs? Uh. ATATs, all terrain armor transport. No, ATTEs. ATTEs, all terrain uh, tactical. Terrestrial. Force, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. tactical Actually, force, terrestrial. STs oh, no, no, no. Stands a for. ATTEs, sorry, yeah, I was thinking of something else. It's just sound like very terrain, terrible sexual transmitters. All terrain <laughs> transport and <laughs> the force. More, the, more letters. And which one is that? That's the Clone Wars one with the six legs. Oh, all terrain. Right. Six legs. Fucking prequels. Cool. Transport and force are. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if that. Two is. legs aren't good enough. <laughs> Six legs. Why? <laughs> but ATSTs are all terrain scout transports. I okay. Here, so many scouts. Shows. Here's your fact. In the real world location for Hoth, it was was uh, filmed in Norway. What is it? Finnes? How do you pronounce that? Finnes. Finnes. F I N S E Norway. <laughs> so you gotta look it up. We do have not we have not concluded how to say this word, but Fincy. Fincy? But in Norway, so I like it. Norway make, in Fincy Norway. Fincy. It was filmed, so Do we have any listeners in Norway yet? We might. I, Our think, I remember seeing, like, I think I saw one or two from Okay, well, if we're wrong, guys, let us know how to pronounce that. Oh, well, you'll have to show her after the cast. Showed Last time, we found listeners. this thing on Facebook about, like, seeing how many people look at our page and whatnot. And, I, couldn't, like, I couldn't pull it up on my iPod. But I think well, remember we found... On uh, the laptop, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. We can show her with this laptop. Mm. That I own. We have, yeah. yeah, we have that technology. We have the tools. <laughs> it doesn't sleep when you close it, too. <laughs> yeah. And we found out more women look at our page than men. Really? Did they really? I thought that's what it was. I remember, it was, it was like I, I 42, thought... and then it was like, three, and then for some reason, we have like, other. We have like, I think it says like one woman over the age of 60 that has listened to our yeah. podcast. Or yeah. viewed the page. Viewed the page. In, yeah. in theory, there is four guys, so I mean, more women should be drawn. So You, you know, would think, but. In theory. <laughs> you never know. Voices. Yeah. Their <laughs> sweet, luxurious voices. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I can't even see your guys' hair. And, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Now Luke's going boss on this ATAT. He does. He's flailing around. He just threw a oh. nade up in there. Breaks his legs. Boom! There goes ATAT. Another breaks his legs. <laughs> Another weak spot. Do you think he'd be right underneath that? Because he just fell. The Luke walker can't walk move that fast. Theory. That's not a weak. That should be a weak spot though, Dylan. Like inside of it, where the control things are. Like that kind of makes sense. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why these things aren't remote controlled from up in Star Trek. That's Star too advanced. <laughs> you guys know that guy's. <laughs> they name can't in even there? close their laptops. No. Oh, that was a <laughs> wicked shot. Yeah. That's Admiral Veers, though. A wicked shot. Veers. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> what now? Yeah. It's like everyone saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't deny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, this is why I really like this. You finally get to see the how strong the Empire is supposed to be. Like, I feel like the first movie legit. set that up pretty good when they blew up a whole fucking planet. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> That's I mean, pretty not, not just from one <laughs> ship. Like, I mean, like the Empire is army. Yeah, their yeah. army and everything. No, I know what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, I think they've always been kind of. I I wouldn't put it past them to be dangerous. Yeah. C-3PO, no fucking clue what's going on. Just running yeah. around the <laughs> the basement of Hoth. Right. I love the snow and the snow stormtroopers. Yeah. So cool. The snow troopers are cool, man. Battlefront two when you play on Hoth. You can't call them snow stormtroopers. They're gonna be snow troopers. Battlefront two when you played on Hoth and you played as the Empire. You could play as those guys. Same in this, like the. Oh, movie. can you? Yeah. Okay. The one I really want is at rank fifty. I want the the black stormtrooper. Shadow troopers. Shadow troopers. Those are cool. Shadow yeah. troopers. That's a nice name. Yeah, they're just literally all black. It's really cool. Spooky. And then what I like forty five. There's like the Endor ones with like the, scout troopers. Yeah. yeah. That is my second favorite map, Endor. 
is so fun. Mm-hmm. Like I like I can't remember which part which one it is, but the one there's one where you can specifically it's not the one where the ships are parked, but one where you can specifically hide behind trees a lot. I like number one ranked on that map like the two times I play because I'm so good at hiding at trees, especially when you're like the indoor people and you blend in. And then when like stone trees just run by, they like I love that map. Fun so fact much. about that: you get an achievement or a trophy if you have an Ewok throw a rock at your head. Really? Yeah. Oh. I was playing and I randomly something hit my head and it said like, "Oh, you got hit by an Ewok," and I got an achievement. That's oh. how I like with the trophies. You don't even feel like you do something; they just randomly pop up. Like, cool. Yeah. Like, it's like you picked up this perk ten times. It's like, thanks. <laughs> I'll take this fifty whatever trophy. <laughs> oh, shit, so that turret was in <laughs> Battlefront too. Yeah. And I think the first one maybe. So now Han, Chewie, yeah, no, Leia. I remember that actually, because I were walking and it's always getting shot. By. Yeah. And the people can repair it, like the engineers. Oh, that was so annoying. Did he have this turret at the beginning of the franchise on the Millennium Falcon? No, well, it, it took was three never... years to put it on. His Why? Yeah, three years. <laughs> this was my thing. He should have took a couple of shots of Vader. Obviously, they were taking off, but like if Vader was there, they should have shot that turret of Vader. I think they were just wanting to get the hell out. Do you think he could block like yeah, turret? Yeah, oh, probably. Yeah. I do like this movie because it has a very two towers feel to it, even yeah. though this was done first. But like how the team gets split yeah, up, it's totally. kind of cool. Like obviously the team's not as big, but you know R two and Luke go do their own thing. Han, Leia, and Chewie go do their own thing, and and once again, it's very like a simple movie. The battle just happened. He's gonna go with Yoda. They they're trying to get to um, Cloud City, right? Like it's very simple. Well, they're, they don't even know they're going to Cloud City. Right, yet. they're, they're trying just, to get away. They're just trying to get away. Yeah. But anyways, they have a Cloud City, and then like the stuff happens there. But it's not like well, that's where the pre- prequels. I feel like it's all over so much. Like it's this planet, this planet. But with these, they're pretty. Like Luke's on Dagobah. That whole like he's going Dagobah right now, and he's there the whole movie. Like he doesn't go except for like the last ten minutes or whatnot. But like that's what I like. It's very like not simple, but it's just it's it, the pacing is a lot better, and it's just so. It's just, oh, Jesus. See, now this is what I'm talking about. I want to see more than four TIE Fighters. I want to see, you got three Star right, Destroyers. I, yeah. <laughs> I want to see, like, 50 uh, TIE Fighters. They could be do something else, though. And what if all their pilots are on the ground, and they only have, like, Billy Joel and whatever up Billy there. Joel? I, I, I didn't... turn them off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. He does turn him off in this movie, doesn't he? I thought he turned him off. He's like, shut him off. No, oh, C-3PO. C-3PO. Yeah, yeah, he, he does turn him off. off at some point. I don't blame him. What? Look at that. Hilarious. C-3PO's a gentleman. Yeah. That guy fell. He is the Jar Jar of this series, <laughs> but he's not like in a bad way. He's learned some more maneuvers over the years. Yeah. Than Three no more drifting, drifting to the left. <laughs> is R2-D2 and C-3PO supposed to be in 7 as well? Yes. And C-3PO has a red arm, which we don't know why. Ooh. Not yet. He's we probably don't. some sort of laser it's cannon a mod or something. Mod. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a cannon on his arm. He upgraded his. Power I got this right. idea from Fallout 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fallout 60, it's like what fucking like areas in the city are like in the world are left like on planet Earth like. Clone on BC. <laughs> well, that's a Fallout already. No. <laughs> Rutland. Oh man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the wasteland. That's <laughs> all. Oh, you don't gotta change much. Everyone just has a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> and cheap vodka or Listerine. <laughs> Listerine. Oh, it happened. Oh, a bunch of tools just fall on Han Solo. Yeah, for those of you that want to know where we're at. We're, that are not watching along, yeah. yeah. Han Solo is with the Leia, C-3PO, and Chewie, and they're in the Millennium Falcon. They just left Hoth. And they're just trying to get out of here. By yeah. The, uh, Empire, yeah. And then Luke was on his way to Dagobah. Didn't even give a fuck about his friends. No. He didn't even, like, ask. Yeah, why didn't he ask? Yeah, they left him. But why didn't he, like, radio them and be like, hey, guys, let's meet up? Well, he saw them leave on the Falcon, so he probably... And he didn't know that Darth He never got his number, so... It's like, damn. After three years, I didn't ask his number once. And not even the Leia's. I was going to ask her, too. She just kissed me. I love this part. I have this song on my iPod. I love the, the score to this. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. good. That none of us can hear. <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah, really good. As you... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm just looking forward to that in Force Awakens. It sounds like there's like they have like the um, Han Solo and like Leia like love like in the trailer like the mm-hmm. love song. So mm-hmm. I'm very excited for the. I'm just very excited for everything about Episode Seven. What were you gonna say about Battlefront? I, I was just gonna say like I you get to really see how good of a pilot Han Solo is in this, dodging the asteroids and just messing up the Tie Fighters. Mm-hmm. 
flying right into an asteroid. It's, it's the plans. Oh, that Whoa. juke. This one with the worm monster. Yeah, yeah. the Meg monster. Yeah, the Meg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this on Lego Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These two TIE fighters totally... Look at them, they screw up. They're like, me first, and then they totally fuck up. What are they, Jar Jar? Lisa yeah. first! <laughs> <laughs> he is a Sith Lord. Apparently. So. Fuckers. Yeah, I said, I agree with it. That's not true. It makes sense. <laughs> this is nobody character. That's not even gonna I just think you didn't read the whole article and look at all the I saw the headline and I was like, that's enough. You, well, if you read it, there was proof. Are you talking about the Jar Jar thing? I've yeah. seen enough like jokes on Twitter where I don't need to read. I There's no proof. It's not a real thing. It's people making stuff up. The same way people are making up like Batman is not Batman, the new Batman versus Superman. It's just people are bored and they're making up that Jar Jar yeah, is a well, Sith Yeah, okay, Lord. well that's speculation, but this is like based on... This is still technically speculation until George Lucas or J.J. says... I do so. We're making up a Sith... Oh, my... No, my God. <laughs> it's like all the Pixar movies being connected. But that's just something people have made up. They are connected, but it's just in the way that people are like, hey, we'll throw in like Lotso in uh, whatever, like, um... What, what movie is he in? Up. Oh, and Up. Like, we'll throw Lotso in there, like, all the time. Like, it, and people made this shit up. Like, it's the same way. They've just made this shit up. No, you just, you gotta go read the article and look I'm at not gonna. It's a stupid thing. I'll read it when someone's like, oh, yeah, he's actually a Sifuot. He's not. In the can, he is not. You and you that. know that. In the comic books, he's not. He hasn't been popping up, fighting on Solo. Never, no one ever asked George Lucas, is he a Sith Lord? Until yeah, because his opinion is now, shit, because he's gone off the loop. The guy has said like how it could end with him actually being a Sith Lord, because well, if you would know this if you actually read the article. Well, you mean like what in these the movies? What if the movies ended like, in that? It won't, because they specifically but said no, they're not talking about anything is, what to do with the prequels. Even though the prequels, prequels are real, what if, yeah, what if Kyla has just <laughs> We've seen pictures of him without the mask, so it's not him. And <laughs> JJ if, has said he's ignoring what the prequels. What if he, that's not even that's what Jar Jar looks or sounds like? What if it's all just like a costume and like... Think about yeah, it. I don't know, you should like watch it. Like there's parts where he's like talking and then he'll like do like hand motions like Jedi's do. And then people agree with him. There's like I think he's just been hit in the head too many times. I don't think it's because he's actually. I think he's fooled even you, Trent. Yeah, no. you know I think he's doing a good job. Because right, because a- after yeah. the Force Awakens come out, I, we, me and Kirk gonna talk about this. Last time I'm ignoring all the prequels. As Force Awakens, I think I'm gonna go back to referring these as one, two, and three. Like I think I'm done with prequels altogether. Like I can't watch well, them. Technically, anymore. won't this be a prequel? What? Two? Oh mm-hmm. no! Yeah, yeah it'll yeah. be a prequel. Oh. Why? Because it's thirty years after all of these, so these are. Prequels to that one. What do you mean 30 years after? Yeah, but they didn't make this before The Force. Like, they made this before The Force Awakens. So yeah, it's not like The Force Awakens. In the storyline, it's a prequel, though. Yeah. No, it's a 1, 2, 3, and then they come out. No, it's a 4, 5, 6, but, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. No, but still, it does, this can't be a prequel. <laughs> if 7... That's a prequel in the storyline. No, it's... No, you can't say negative every... Negative 2, negative 1. No, that know? makes no sense because there is a 7 and then there's a 6. Not, uh, so you can't say Spider-Man 1 is a prequel to Spider-Man <laughs> but 2. But this is, this is a prequel to Episode 7. It no, it's not. Before. Yeah, but that's not what that's defines a, a prequel. A prequel is made at... So if they made 7 <laughs> and then went back and made all 3, that is a prequel in like definition terms. A prequel has to be made... <laughs> but like, I, I don't on think the you can count 1, 2, and 3 really as prequels because they, they already had the idea and they just no. like decided to Those make Those are prequels because they made them after. If you're making something after that has already been released and it's taking place before, that is the definition of a film. You're prequel. so riled up about this. <laughs> this is because it's so annoying. This is not a prequel. Storyline-wise, though, I mean... No, that's not what it goes. It's the story. <laughs> Storyline-wise, the whatever, the shitty... Three George Lucas directed ones. Those are prequels. I gotta find a new name for them. I think R two would be so screwed if he fell over. Like, yeah. By definition, <laughs> prequel uh, <laughs> expand on a previous or preceding work. Yeah, but it. it <clears throat> boom. <laughs> That's still the same. Jar Jar is the same. <laughs> but I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying you can find. But I'm saying I'm gonna ignore those now. Like. They can still have happened, but like I'm just not gonna watch them. I'm not gonna Wait. refer to this because as oh, you've seen, okay, yeah. as you've seen this okay. cast so many times, like I've accidentally referred to this as two so many times, and now Darth's <laughs> burnt head is coming up as Taylor's pointing burnt out. Burnt head. Yeah. <clears throat> Awkward. 
Ooh. Look at that. That's one burnt head. I remember seeing as a kid that was really cool. People were probably wondering like if he was even human at this point. Yeah. Seeing that. Well, that looked like a pretty human head. Well, but you. But like don't that's know. what he means. Like before that, they didn't know if he was a human or not. You mean like all his workers? I think and people or like like, watchers. like like him himself. So yeah, like the worker. Oh. Yeah, I feel like them and even the I viewers. I think like that would confirm that he's a human. That's but you don't what know that saying. point. You just see the back point, like of his head. So I mean, even then, you don't know until you see the front. Like oh, well, he I could don't be an alien. With that. He, he could have been, been a robot. Alien. Yeah, but if he's an alien, he's not a robot by definition. But I'm not saying he could have, like, that first in episode know. 4, See, no one knew. If you watched episode 1, 2, and 3, I mean, he'd know that he was a human, so... Oh. But we're, but these people don't have the advantage to go and watch well, DVDs in their own life. All I'm saying is that you're, if you're going to just ignore those movies, then, you know... If I'll the know. Admiral's like, I wonder if Darth Vader is human, they're not going to be like, oh, here, watch these. Like, <laughs> it's they, all don't have access, they don't have access to that. I didn't bring up this. He brought up that, like, if he's human or not. I agree that I feel like people... I don't think uh, Darth Vader's human. What? <laughs> well, he's not. He's a monster. That's kind of oh, a what is this? A little spin-off. She fell a little into... A little back hug? Hold on. A little back hug are we seeing here? Like, you know, oh, uh, please, don't get excited. Oh. You know the uh, emotes you can do, Oh, right? you, you see that heartbreak? heartbreak? I'm not buying any of those. Yeah. You're not? No, because it's a waste. I'm not going to buy a thing so my Stormtrooper can fist I just, I just like looking at them, but there's one where you do like Darth Shit. Vader's like... No, oh, oh, it's God. so perfect. Yeah, I'm not spending 500 <laughs> credits on that. I'm gonna buy yeah, new glasses. Destiny. They have like the Carlton dance. Do they really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so awesome! I wish they had that in Battle Prime. Funny. See you, you lie. You're like, oh, I just look at them. You're buying. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I wish they I had. I don't buy them. Like until I've maxed out and I have all the guns, like I won't buy them. Whatever. My, my, <laughs> like I want the guns, but the guns don't really make. Other than like the Jawa gun. And like pistols, they're not really that different in my opinion. Like they are, but like the guns are all very similar. You, can you buy the Han Solo gun? Ah uh, no, I think you have to download uh, it probably. But um, what was I gonna say? That I, that's why I want the costumes. So for. we're on Dagobah here. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's well, happening on Dagobah? He's looking for I'm the Master that you Yoda. Do that. I think he probably said it in the uh, subtitles, right, Dylan? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Luke is there on Dagobah. He's Dagobah. gonna start looking for Yoda. In uh, Battlefront Two. If you play on Dagobah system, you can actually find Yoda's house. Yeah, yeah. you can. You can glitch is into it. it. It's like <laughs> yeah. a little hut. Yeah, with like lights on. I hope. Is it really weird? That's in there? part of the deal. Like, I feel it's like really, Yoda's into really weird. Most weird it's like I want that you're like a you're like a normal yeah, stormtrooper or whatnot, and then that, you like I'm, crouch I'm, and you can I'm 100 like, glitch into that. You have to crouch to get in though. Here's our debut. Yeah, you have to glitch to get it. Before you were CGI. Yeah, before he was CGI. So wait, is this the first like? Showing of Yoda then, or was yeah, he like in history. No, he, yeah. was he in the last one? Nope. This is the first time you see Yoda. He wasn't even mentioned in the first one. So they just like right, mention okay. him out of nowhere, and then he appears. No, Ben said he has to go find him. He ben. told them where to go. So ben that's why. You know, and depending on which movie you're watching, Yoda has different feet. One, he has like three toes. One, he has four. And then, in like the earlier ones, he has like five. And it, Jedi, change, it changes yeah. for every movie. Jedi right? toe shift. Yeah. Do you know how old Yoda is? Maybe he loses them from lightsaber accidents. He's so small, yeah, he misses exactly. his own toes. <laughs> they cut his toes off. You get some weird mutations if you're hanging out in Dagobah. I love crazy. because he went in the water. Does he, was he eating a Twix bar? <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever Luke had there. A left foot. Oh, R2's, uh, yeah, say, R2's, R2's charging. <laughs> R2's charging Luke's iPhone, apparently, too. <laughs> I love okay, her. well, look at what. Why did he steal the left Twix away from him, but then just throw it away? Why not just let him I eat the left Twix? Because I think he didn't want to eat it after Yoda. Yeah, yeah, but why is he gonna steal it away to throw it away? Like, Yoda butt. <laughs> Yoda butt. That's all I'm saying. He could just let Yoda eat the left Twix. He's got a little senile. You I don't want to let Yoda have. That's what I was gonna say. I love <laughs> crazy Yoda. Crazy. <laughs> like a dog gets sick. <laughs> Pretty much. He's saying Luke should take Yoda out back and shoot him. Or something. Like, <laughs> what? Also, people Jesus used to do sick dogs. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I think that was horses. Oh, so, maybe. <laughs> you turn them actually. into glue. You take them out back, shoot them, and turn it into glue. Hole. <laughs> Nothing worse than a slime. I don't want Yoda. to be a dog at your house. Yoda glue. <laughs> You're saying. Well, right now, R2 and Yoda are getting in a fight. Over a flashlight. And Yoda's light. beating the shit out of him with a stick. Mine, 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 mine. Jedi are supposed to be selfless. Yoda's become pretty good. Because he's fuck. been on this fucking place for 20, 30 years. Alone. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, look at adults. You know, when they're 30 years old, they're pretty bitter, too. Yeah, but he's a 900 year old 
like selfless master Jedi of the Jedi Council. Yeah, okay, explain that, Joe. And he's like, my flashlight. <laughs> but he's, been, he's still been stuck alone <laughs> for 20 <laughs> years. Yeah, but if he's 900, I mean, that should feel like nothing to him. How did he yeah, get there? In the but he's, what if he's never been he alone? He took a uh, drop pod uh, or whatever. He's the never been alone. Yeah, he's, like his drop, drop he's never been alone. He's been training to get a Jedi. He's been training other Jedi. So I feel like there's always been someone around him. We're here. There's but nobody. he spends a lot of his time meditating. And all his forest. friends died. So that yeah, but that didn't, him. that didn't phase him in Revenge of the Sith. And plus, yeah, it he did. Has, he nearly he has, had a heart he has, attack. He has Obi Wan and Qui Gon that to communicate I'm, with. I'm like in the force. convinced that uh, Yoda has like a pretty brutal case of amnesia and he just doesn't <laughs> recognize anything yeah. from more than five minutes beforehand. Because Yoda, when all his friends get, when all the Jedi's get killed in the Avengers of the Sith, he has to use like the wall to keep himself up. Yeah, because like... it was, he felt it in the Force. It was his disturbance in the Force. Think... But he he learned how to communicate in the afterlife. He went through that, that training. So he knows how to communicate with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan and all yeah, the Jedi. Yeah, we only can talk to a better than... Uh... Quiet gone so long before it gets a little bored. I think you have some good conver- conversations about Shmi and all that. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I think, you know, maybe Shmi is hanging out here. <laughs> and and he think... just doesn't want to show. And doesn't he get Because that of, would just be awkward. 20 years of like party. his grandma, and they're like doing stuff. And he can and only talk to like it. Ben and Quiet on the He was talking maybe. about slimy mud holes earlier. Just them, yeah. 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 I don't, unless <laughs> someone else knows. And I mean, if you talking to Shmi, it'd be kind of good because he could like throw money at her, but she's just like a hologram, so you could go and pick it up and throw the same money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Efficiency. Han and Leia love score. Travis right is here. so done with the Shmi <laughs> jokes. <laughs> like, I'm done with everything. Yeah, Travis <laughs> is everything we say. He's done. just done. That was such a good movie. I'm getting sucked back in. But yeah, good. Uh, we can't hear it, but good Han Leia. Love score. One of my favorites. And then this is where Han's about to make the move. Constant flirting. Leia just hurt her finger. Even though she's already told oh. him that he doesn't turn her on. Well, Scoundrel. she's a liar. Scoundrel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel her now. What? Just the... The love to My hands are here. dirty. My hands are dirty too. What are you afraid of? She's nervous. Trouble. Arms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. There aren't enough like, scams. Is this like right? unforceful, like. No, it's <laughs> not. It's <laughs> not. She not yells like rape. She's something. completely <laughs> into it. She's not going to yell rape. And who's going to stop? See, you're going to yell. See, you're going to yell. Damn it. <laughs> Cock block. Just <laughs> turns them off. Thank you very much. Oh, you're perfectly welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Han, so good. But they did kiss. Yeah. Darth Vader is such a in his Leia is, She's Why pretty Star much Fader the new Shmi, if you think He's about it. No, <laughs> she's not. She's just making out with everyone. <laughs> not with her own brother, I mean, really. Darth Darth her own brother is even worse than Shmi. Darth Vader you said she had sexual relations with her son. <laughs> no, yeah, you're like, oh, Anakin. It was implied. <laughs> yeah. He's, I say he's a dumbass because he shouldn't be sending in a ship of that size into an asteroid field like that. He, he's just, you know, you know what this is? Ships that size around. That is obsession. Right? No, you know what this is? What? The zero fucks zero that Darth fucks. Vader gave yeah, when they said, "Hey, you want to put your ships?" I, I made a zero. Vader like, knows that like, he's not gonna die. He's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One, on one of the star destroyers died. You got to see that. Could he not just like use the force? Oh no! Yeah, here's our first look at the Emperor. Who looks yeah, really? Awesome. Sh- the em- this is the first look at the Emperor, who looks really shitty in this movie, if I recall. Yeah. He, he doesn't look anything like what he looks, looks like. Kind of looks like he's to. wearing glasses. He got dropped on the head. Yeah, so but he then... He got dropped on the head, but then in return of the Jedi, someone flattened him back out, because he's like... <laughs> like, he doesn't have those bulging eyes or whatnot, like... He had an allergic reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then apparently this is not the original actor here that played the Emperor. I'm pretty sure, if I remember. So. It's not the original guy. His, and his, his voice, voice is, is so clear. Different. Too. Yeah. I can't remember, but it's an actor. It's a guy. This is terrible. This is not the only thing I, I know he's been in Superman 2. Um, the guy in Yes Man, who's like the older guy who's the main Yes Man. You know that movie? I can't remember. Uh, uh, I know who you're Yeah, but I can't remember his name, but he's a really, really good actor. I'm ashamed I can't remember, but he's Superman 2. He was the original Zod. But Yeah, this little shack, you can find it. I can see why you'd have to croak. She get yeah, it. it's kind of small. R2. Like, R2. I don't want to tippy toes there. So these are the movies when they actually had like a little uh, little person in... Yeah. Yeah. Because him and C-3PO hate each other in real life. Like, legit. They can't stand each other. 
That's yeah. why they put the little guy inside the... <laughs> <laughs> why do they hate each other? They just say they don't get along. So it's just been neat. And they have to work together. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. it's constantly <laughs> like you're working with well, C-3PO is tall. They probably. can choose a new actor for RTD2. But they didn't. Really. <laughs> they oh, didn't. Really? They really All the original like actors are back. Like the same guy that played like Chewbacca is playing Chewbacca, which I don't understand because he walk. He needs canes to walk. Oh, so how's he Well, maybe Chewie, you know. Chewie's old too. Little fuzzy man. He's getting some gray hair. Well, what do you mean? Like he needs like a wheelchair usually or canes? He has like like a walking stick on because he's so tall. I don't think wheelchairs like exist in the Star Wars universe. No. I think they have like advanced spaceships and they can invent the wheelchair. I think like six to seven hundred years. Like a hundred years, I think. I'm just guessing on top of my head. Probably like a hundred years for a Wookiee. So, he was in the prequels, and he was looking a good size, and then that was, what, 30 years, those 20 years, the prequel? Yeah, there was and 30, so he's, so, like, he's probably about one. 60, 70. Then, yeah. Well, so, no, because then there was two other periods of three years. Oh, gosh. You're so there's the 19, the 30. So that's what I mean, because the 20 and the 30 <laughs> brought in 50, so he's, like, 60, <laughs> <pretty 70. fried laughs> So let's say he was I'm 20 years old. Yeah. Another 20 years. And he was 40. And then he's 70? So, no, 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 He just looks like Yeah, the 30 years. years. So he's 50, 70. 50, 50. No, he's older than that. So then in the prequels, he's about to die. Well, we're just basing it off saying. of that he's, an average life spends 100 years. But you told Which us. Which was off the top of my head. I don't, I said off the top of my head, I don't okay, know. Okay, let me find out. Look it up. Yeah, well, yeah fact if, checker. You, if in the very first one, he's 20. And then <laughs> they were completely making up. Well, no, because we're guessing, right? Yeah. So, I mean, and then there's three years, so 23, and then uh, 20 years, so 43, and then another three is 46, and then the 30 years, 76. So he, and then another 30, because the new prequel is 30 years no, later. No, then that's one of them, because there's one that's one year, and another one that's one year, and then right. two that are three years, and then 119. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's almost 80. So, I mean, maybe they're inventing <laughs> wheelchairs for him. You know, and they if, have advanced spacecraft. And if, as you said in that article you shared, like, they've discarded the whole um, expanded universe, but Disney's still taking things from it, right? Chewie was a 190 standard years old when he met Han Solo. So I think they live a lot longer than <laughs> two, uh, 100. Crap. So I was right, 6 to 700 years? <laughs> well, no, I haven't found out the whole lifespan. I just found out that... He, he was, was about like 190 when he met Han Solo, which we don't know when. So he's definitely in rock in the 200, 300. Yeah. So. Two, uh, solo 250 in the new one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Can you fill the viewers in on what's oh happening right God, now, Taylor? Yoda. Yeah, Yoda is no longer that. He like, can't even look straight. He's he's not <laughs> acting like. He barely could in the original. He's ones. probably drunk. He looks a little high. His he's turned very serious now. He's not joking. He's not giggling. Like he's he's serious and full on like. <laughs> Like what did what did he say? Did he say that is why you fail yet, or was I just saying I was looking up facts. That's why I told you to tell. Them. Oh, I don't know. I, I I wasn't paying attention fully there. No, oh, fuck you. Because I was listening to your facts. I believe this fucking guy. I believe their lifespan generally averages hundreds of years. So not really a good like. <laughs> so just, I, I, I'm still right. Yeah. <laughs> Cause then, so it says true was about two hundred around the time of a new hope. So in Star Wars four, he had known oh, Han God. for about ten. Gross. <laughs> he had known Han for about ten years. So that's what happened in the prequels. So he's known Chewie and Han have known each other for about ten years before the first Star Wars. So he's one ninety. He's around two hundred. So we don't have a, f- a real one, but yeah, I'm feeling probably right in the hundreds. Like he could probably. I, I'm guessing probably like. Like 600, 500. Like, I'm guessing that. Maybe even 700. Uh, well, apparently he was born in 200 BBY. <laughs> Listen to this comment. Battle com- before Yavin. Yeah, Listen to, the, the Listen to this comment. Someone asked how long a Wookiee can live until they meet their maker. <laughs> 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 Yahoo comics. If you're comments, if you're ever bored, go there. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. High quality stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do a podcast just like typing in questions and like seeing what the responses are. You should, uh, Until they die. That's you should ask said. if uh, Jar Jar Binks is a... No. <laughs> I'm not. There's a site called Wookiee Answers. Okay, so now oh. what's happening, Taylor? You just killed Puff the, wild, the Magic Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are these weird things sucking the windows on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> they're cleaning. Yeah, they're called Minox. They're window I forgot about Minox? That. Minox. Classic Minox. Now they're trying to get at Leia. 
Oh right, Chewie died in the book. You may recognize the scene. Yeah, he yeah. died. He Jurassic died Park saving Han and, Han and Leia's yeah. kid. So that's why I think it. Because as you said in that article you showed me, they Disney discarded the expanded universe, but they've taken some elements from it and just reworked it. So so when he died in the books originally, which don't count anymore, he was two forty, but he did not die of old age. Chewbacca's father, Achitik Yuck, I don't know, <laughs> oh, but it's Achitik Tuck. <laughs> At, yeah, Ach- yeah, it is Achitik Tuck. Um, was around 360 at the time of his son's death. So when they went to go tell him, he all his fur had turned gray. So I'm thinking 400 is the age. Because at 360, his hair was starting to go gray. I'm thinking 400 is the age of a woman. Yeah, so that means, so. like... You heard it here first, well, folks. it's apparently the average Wookiee lifespan is several centuries. That's... Centuries? Se- several could go for, like... Several centuries. Is that seven? 700 years? Is several, like, supposed to be, like, seven as, yeah. like, a couple is two kind of thing? Like, Well, they'll have to fill us in the movies, because in the books, they were saying that, like, 400 was the age. Because that's when he got gray hair. At yeah. 360, he was getting gray hair. And to me, that seems about right, oh, 400. I think oh, 400. 700 giant, giant years airport. is a little big. Giant ad short. But... Well, 400, it can still... Four, it can still be several. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's true. true. Yeah. So, in this, Chewbacca is about halfway through his life, in these ones. Yeah. And 30 years later, so he's about 230. So he still has, like, he still has a good, he still has a few more. <laughs> he's, like, sh- he's, like, t- like frosted yeah. his tips on all his hair. And he- <laughs> oh, God. God. I want to do this for Halloween one year so bad. Especially, um, yeah. this Halloween I have the hair for it. I have the luscious golden okay. locks. So I have one question first. What's A-B-Y? So BBY was... ABY is after the Battle of Yavin, and BBY is before Battle of Yavin. Okay. All of the timeline centers around when the Death Star blew up. Okay, and then another thing, so... Uh, That's a- what it is? Battle of Yavin is the Death Star? Why are they called Yavin? Because it took place above Yavin 4. Oh, I didn't know, I did not know Yavin. They were oh. on Yavin. My bad. Okay, and then... So I never from, knew that. Oh. Sorry. From the age of 18, Wookiees are viewed as adults and considered prime age until the age of 200. Uh, then... They could marry and have families of their own. They're qualified as middle age from 300 to 350, and old from 351 to 3, so 3, they, 399. And then they become vulnerable at 400. They get married when they're 200. Yeah. And so they 200s. get like 120 or 180 years of partying. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, but I'm four, 400. Nice, <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 400 is death age. Yeah. So there we go. Found it. Confirmed. Yeah. You heard it here first. 400 years of lifespan. Friend just asked me to let him fall out. Not happening. <laughs> I said, maybe another month, sir. I saw a flyer for Best Buy. Yeah. I saw a flyer for Best Buy. It's like, trade in Fallout 4 now and get $45 towards your game. Screw <laughs> that. that. Who's going to do that? Seriously. But that, uh, that can't happen at our Best Buy because that's illegal. No. It can. It was a Canadian Best yeah, Buy. Yeah, you can trade in. But non Kelowna. Yeah, you can. But no, it's against yeah, the law. Can. How come? I worked at EB Games. People trade in games. What happened? Yeah, in- but at EB because you can check all their backgrounds, right? No, we don't do that. Or oh, well, don't. at Best Buy, because I worked there, they said they would never trade in games because well, they were going to go through the work. there was a bylaw against it. The bylaw has been lifted. Oh, I never... I, when was it lifted? Uh, when EB Games started taking trades again, which was when I worked there, which was like two years ago. There was a ban on it from city bylaw. But, but it, are you sure it's not that it's... You don't have it's to, a, like... Check because that's what we were told. You have to check and that like was a the bylaw. criminal record. That was the bylaw, oh. and it was just Kelowna. That's so we're still why, chilling on Dagobah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why EB Games in West Kelowna could do trading, but not Kelowna because it was just a bylaw. Oh, I'll have to look because I hope Best Buy starts doing that more now too. Well, for forty five dollars, not really worth it. I'm not it. doing that. No, I'm not for that game. No. <laughs> now here's one of the best scenes I think of the entire franchise, which you going none of these one mud, mud holes here. Yeah, the Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders, ooh. These slimy mud holes. Yeah, with a name like Cave of Wonders, it kind of sounds like Disney was a... Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking. You it's don't not allowed the to touch the lamp. That's how I, yeah. You can't touch anything else but the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm saying, maybe Disney had a hand in this. So what is he doing right here? He has to go confront his fears. In the Cave of Wonders. Yeah. What's the actual name again? Um, Cave of Wonders. 
I just have Cave of Wonders <laughs> on my mind. I can't think I of it. I don't that. remember if there's an. I know there's an actual. Yeah, it's like that's how Aladdin was tested too. He wasn't allowed to touch anything but the lamp. But yeah. And you know he's not allowed to you know touch anything. He has to just go. Yoda said in order for him to continue straining, he has to go down there and face his fears. And Luke had no idea what that means. And, and right now, there. Do you think Yoda's is, working with Vader? Is this an illusion, or did Yoda actually build? No, like, it's, it's no. It. <laughs> Yoda did not build. Yoda paid Vader to come in, in, no, in, in this uh, robot chicken, Yoda freaks out at Luke because it was a real actor no, that Yoda no, hired to no. play with. <laughs> 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 he didn't think Luke would kill him. That's why he said no weapons. I gotta find out the name. I'm, I'm sure a bunch of Star Wars fans are tearing us new asshole right now because we don't know. But like so, the so, cave. So is this just like Jedi mind tricks? <laughs> It's no. It's legitimately when you go in there, the cave oh, has the cave that has that ore around it, and everybody Little sees friends. something different. Like other <laughs> characters and books and comic books go in the cave and they see something different. So like seeing something they fear. It's probably so. just it then. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> Giant garlic. Big reveal. It's him. Is Luke. Yeah. He is Darth Vader. He just oh. killed himself. He actually sleep fights. It's pretty. Like, he goes to sleep. He actually becomes Vader. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Split I feel personnel. like yeah. I feel like sleepwalking <laughs> would be like a big issue in the Star Wars universe. If you had a lightsaber, you could just yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. Accidentally kill everything. Yoda looks so disappointed. Like oh, Luke, you those engines. Up. He's always disappointed. <laughs> Take a pause. Of I love place. this. I love this part. Why? Because you get to see all the other bounty hunters. Yeah, it's so and cool. And Bosk is the only one who's polite enough to take his shoes off. Boska. You know, Bosk. in the states, that's not a thing. What? Taking off your shoes? That's not a thing in the States, so if anything, he's the only one that's weird. It's not a thing in... Look at those big, gross feet. Bosk is so <laughs> cool. I'd love it if they brought some of these bounty hunters back. Okay, into yeah, it is just the cave on Dagobah. Cool. There's no one name. Okay. And I thought so. I was like, man, like, I swear I wouldn't know that name. But yeah, other Jedis and whatnot go in there. IG-8. Boba. Or IG-88, sorry. I forgot his name. I feel like Boba's better than all these people. They are, but... Like, is this the first appearance of Boba? In the... No. Well, well yeah. It's a special feature version. Don't count it. In the original movie, like... It, oh, right. In the th yeah. But that was in the special... They took that out. So, like, okay. it, originally when these aired, or, like, they screened... Yeah. yeah, that was the first time you saw Boba Fett. Cool. He was planned to be in the first oh, one. Oh, here we got light feed going. This is something I wanted to bring up, too. Like, at that Do part, it. Darth Vader, he looks at Boba Fett and says, no disintegrations, like, as if he's saying, like, don't kill them, uh, don't kill them, and if you look, Boba Fett, or, on Tatooine, Uncle Owen and Beru, they were, like, incinerated, like, like, disintegrated or whatever, so there's reason to think that maybe Boba Fett killed Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru, because it was on Tatooine, and Darth Vader hired him to maybe work at that, but that's why he pointed at him and says no disintegrations. I'll disagree. But really? It's, it's just like one of those, like, oh, what if Jar Jar's a Sith kind of thing? No, that's good. This, no. <laughs> this has really actual fact as Boba was really right there. Well, on, like, well there is actual fact for Jar Jar. No, <laughs> no, just it's read made up facts. You read the article. When people are like, saying he moves his hand like Jar that's a made up fact. Him being actually on Tatooine the same day Luke's parents It's not a killed? made up fact. fact. Go watch it. There's but that's, of him doing it. It could just be him. No, it's... But that's assuming that you. his hands are moving like a Jedi. His hands are just moving because his fingers are all floppy and whatnot. People assume it's something else. This is an actual thing. Like, it's an actual fact that really could have happened because you know why? Boba Fett actually kills people but, for so a you're living. Are saying that it's not a fact Jar that he moves his hands? He does, but it's not a fact that he is, that he could be moving like a Jedi. That's a speculation. It is a fact that Boba Fett was on the planet with when but Luke's planets parents are pretty were big. I mean, no, he was on the planet very close. We saw him. They show in the lead scene. No, no, me and Dylan are on the same page here. He gets yeah. it. No, I don't care. I think it's confirmed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure Kirkland's on our side too. One arm handstand. I feel like I've never seen a Jedi use that in like battle or anything. I don't know why he's learning that. It's for meditation. Like, what he's doing is for power, but it's for to like control your surroundings and whatnot. Mm. Beep 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 beep. Those subtitles. Wait, what? His ship just got eaten up? No, he was trying to lift Whoa. it up. Like, he's trying to lift it up, isn't he? <laughs> no, it, he it, wasn't it, trying. He was just using doing the meditation, but the ship all of a sudden oh, lost Oh, right, sort of saying. And no, thing. now he tries, doesn't he? And it doesn't happen. It was a pretty good part, too, here with what Yoda tells him. After. Classic Yoda. <laughs> Is there any reason why they decided to have Yoda speak in tongue? I think 
I think he just had too many drugs throughout his life and just messed with his brain. <laughs> I think it just is that classic, like, um, I don't know, wise man <laughs> sort of thing. You know what it just looks like? I don't know. Looks like he's had, you know, too many jets going on. All right, I'll give too it a try. <laughs> Takes a lot of buff out. Do. 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 Good call. Oh, Good call, kids. Do or do not. There is no try. He's not that jacked. I think he's just toned. Oh, up. he looked more jacked earlier. <laughs> Definitely toned. Oh, yeah, he's toned more. It's okay. bubbling. Oh, oh the eyes. He's wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, fuck, he's actually doing this. <laughs> 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 kids want to buy some magic. Come on, buy some best things. Best yeah. <laughs> oh, so disappointing, Lou. Uh, fuck, you're shit. wasting my time, kid. <laughs> Tell Leia to come here. <laughs> <laughs> I meant as she's a Jedi, not as a... <laughs> Bring Shmi with her. <laughs> Shmi's dead! <laughs> In ghost form. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because Leia doesn't even know she like has a force, but she can just spawn. Yoda's like, don't even sit next to me, you <laughs> scum. <laughs> Bantha Buddha. See, do we even know that, like, Yoda's some kind of master besides yeah. the fact that we've been told? Well, like, we that's haven't seen all... him actually do anything? He's pretty wise, like, with the stuff he's saying. So yeah, I but has he done will... anything? Like, he's well, sitting he there trained, all, like, I'm just Obi-Wan. No, but he's trying to show Luke, like, like, you don't have to look at me and see these things to to believe in this. Like, you need to, to and, do this. And plus, you gotta think, in this, in these movies, other than Luke and Ben, everyone thinks the Force is a joke. So mm-hmm. he's another person that, like, thinks the Force is real, so that's what another, like, sign that he's a master. He's not, trained like, people for over 800 years. Yeah, which saying. trains is a very loose term, because he says he trains Obi-Wan, but really, Qui-Gon trained Obi-Wan. So... Please well, actually, sure. it does work out now, because technically uh, Yoda did train Obi-Wan on how to communicate with Qui-Gon. And how so to he go trained him on ghost. one thing. Apparently, yeah. Maybe he trained Qui-Gon. That's like saying a teacher, like in grade 6, like, you could, if he just taught the math, and that was it. Like, you could say, I taught the math, but you can't say, I taught them everything they know. That's true. But he didn't but say, he, say, he didn't say Yoda taught me everything. <laughs> he just said the Jedi uh, master them. who instructed me. <laughs> instructed me. <laughs> But who trained Qui Gon? Count Dooku, and Yoda trained Count Dooku. Oh, there you go. So at the end of the day, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Yoda obviously trained himself. And Yoda trained, <laughs> Yoda trained Darth Vader too. Yoda, no, Yoda, Yoda Yoda's that guy who's like, I don't want to lift that. So. I'm gonna figure Are it out. Have they remote. ever done like? He was the one who really stoned TV. TV. There's There's a remote. remote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's actually a book about it when like they were just on planets and they discovered the Force and they no, it was about they first discovered how to travel through hyperspace to other planets. It's called it's, Chronicle. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Chronicle. I don't know. Could that no. be a good name for it or something? <laughs> Here and here's your proof that Yoda's is Jedi Master. Wait, why did he? Why is he doing this now? Because he was trying to get Luke to do, but Luke is just giving why up. Did, so yeah, Luke's like it can't be done. Yeah, and that's and what he's, he's like, showing him, like, it can be like, done. like, size doesn't matter. Yeah, he's giving him that, that moral I feel boost. like he should have just not done it and let Luke figure it out. But it, no, because, like... He's got to show up his skills. Yeah, because Luke has completely like, given Luke, up. watch this. He's given up. He's like, no, I can't do it at all. Alright. Yoda's like, Yoda should have been like, no hands. <laughs> like, darn. <laughs> well, he was using hands. Yeah, but he should have done he it with no hands. something cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke freaks out. I've been here for fucking hours. No. I could have left by now. <laughs> this is the part I really like. What do you mean? Yeah, he's like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the meme? <laughs> it's like, it's like, a, like it's like baking cooking, and it's like when your girl makes bacon in the morning, it's the baking cooking, and that switches the yoda, and he's like, mm. I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Boom, there it is. This is why you fail. No. Piece of shit. He did, <laughs> viewers, he did, no, not, that my he did not say that. Yoda does not curse. <laughs> Fucking idiot you are! <laughs> oh, oh, this, this guy. guy did not pass Vader's test either. That guy's dead. Yeah, Vader just has no problems, but we just off and be apologies. <laughs> Captain Nita. Nita. He needed some air. So <laughs> <I didn't need laughs> I like that every time he's like, "You're the captain," and I'm like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> like, cool. Like. They're so excited to get the promotion. <laughs> yeah, even though they know, like, if you screw up, that's you it. You're next to die. <laughs> like, with that promotion comes, like, some heavy, like, circumstances of you could be fucking killed by Vader. Yeah, but you get oh, paid a little more, so that's good. You fail me again. <laughs> Do you think they get paid? <laughs> I think they get paid. <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> well, they're not doing this just for fun. I mean, look they they're, oh, they're doing it because they Vader could kill them. They get benefits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, benefits dental, to live. dental, yeah. and they get eighty percent off a back massage <laughs> every month. <laughs> This Vader, like, using his force choke on their bag muscles. How is it sticking to the ship? They just landed on it. I don't know. Spider- <laughs> Spider- Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Cups, yeah. Blue. When in Battlefront, when you play as a Millennium Falcon or Slave 1, like, I, you'll Slave have, like, one. you'll, if you, they're really good sh- uh, ship to use. No, but it's you're, just a terrible name. Oh. <laughs> you're Slave, Slave 1. Ship. You're gonna have, like. And Boba Fett is a man of color, too, which yeah. is, like, yeah, thanks, Jordan Lucas. That's a good name. <laughs> What? what? It's not a good name. That's what we're talking no, about. No, I'm saying it sarcastically. No, I'm like, it's a man in color, and his ship is Slave One. In a movie where everyone calls the white guys master. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty racial movie. If you really well, break it, it was down. back then, it was a See, different age. You, there's a lot to be found if you really break it down, Travis. <laughs> yeah. Similar to, uh... Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck off. When you use the hero Lando. ships, you're gonna have Cal you're gonna Rugen. have other people constantly trying to ram their ships into you because when you're yeah, in a hero you're ship, one, you yeah. can't get destroyed. It's so hard one. to get taken down. Yeah, I'll play that today probably. Bespin, after. what's Bespin again? It's a planet. It's a not only a planet. It's a cloud city planet. Cloud city. People just refer to it. It's a gas city. giant. Cloud city could be a gas giant. All right, that's neat. And Lando. Gonna play a big role in the. What do we know about Lando? Well, he's the only black guy in the galaxy. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> he steals That's his clothes. Which. Clothes. I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm not, yeah <laughs> which I won't spoil for you people, but it's kind of funny people. considering. If you don't know, I don't want to spoil it, but Taylor knows. It's kind of funny considering about, like, he's the only black person, and then, like, in the new yeah. franchise. No, you don't know, so you no, can't find it as funny. <laughs> you don't know that, like. What? Finn. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know when you see the movie. Something have, came out. They're gonna have Finn steal uh, Han Solo's clothes, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll clo- wouldn't he still raise? No, he'll still pose clothes. No, Because oh, Poe's yeah. like the new, oh, yeah. Poe's yeah. the new Han. And what? Finn is... Because Ray's the new Luke. So what, Finn's the new Leia? No, I think Ray is pro. Well, I see Ray's Finn the new Luke. As, I see Finn more as more of like a new Luke, kind of. Maybe they're both. It's a twofer. A twofer? Because Ray is that, like, oh, I'm no one special, like, blah, blah, blah. No one's really Leia. Yeah, no one's Leia, I'm trying to think. There's only one Leia. Yeah. Maybe in the next one. Because in, cause in yeah. episode eight, there's, like, two other female leads. Apparently, there's a rumor that one's a that. villain and one's a good guy, so. Ooh, really? That'd be interesting. So that's where maybe another twin could not well, be in this wouldn't, movie. Well, wouldn't uh, the Chrome Trooper... Like, maybe the Chrome Trooper is not a huge, like, main character. I think she's going to be around the whole trilogy. Captain but maybe Phasma? She, maybe that, yeah, Captain Phasma. Maybe she becomes more of the main character in the eighth movie, maybe. As a I, bad guy? Or yeah, because I feel like oh, maybe yeah. she's not going to be a huge character. I feel like she one. will be. I feel like wherever Kylo Ren is, she'll be there. Really? I think so. I think she's going to act. Yeah, I think so. She's so cool. I want her to be DLC. Because they said four people, that. Ray and Finn, and then Phasma and Ren. Azusa? They're, what, they're coming to Battlefront? No, but that's my prediction. If Because they said four, right? I don't think we're getting Chewie, because they put the bowcaster in there without Chewie, so... Yeah, but that's... Well, they could, because... The bowcaster's, like, that's for people who aren't heroes, and Chewie's could be more special or yeah. more elite. We'll see, but I think if they have four, they're going to put new, like, franchise people. Maybe they'll give one with Battle of Jakku. That'd be pretty cool. No. That's too soon. You don't soon. think they would? That's too soon. That's already... It's already out by the time this podcast after. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so now, what happened there? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Phil said, what yeah. happened there? We're, sorry, folks, we're talking a little battlefront. <laughs> um, Luke saw uh, his friends in trouble. At the oh, and Planet he wants City. to go, and Yoda's like, yeah. oh. And then he was like, are they going to die? And Yoda's like, oh, it's hard to tell. Probably. And this is not offensive to this movie at all, but it's just because I've seen this movie the most out of stories. I, like... Even though I just asked what happened, but like I remember it so much where I feel like I don't need, like I need to watch it because it's great, but it's like, it's just so ingrained in my memory, like more than any of them, you know? I had to ask what happened in like a 20 second scene, sorry. <laughs> I know at some point Luke asked what his friends are doing. So right now the Empire is already here. Yeah. Made a deal with Lando. Yeah. 
Someone said this, um, I'd like as a perk as Battlefront is like you could like disguise yourself as Lando so you could like take out people on the Stormtrooper side. That'd be pretty cool. Like, or like you're like a rebel and you like change into a Stormtrooper and take people out. I like that. Like the Lando perk. I think that'd, that'd be, be cool. really cool. When you get traits, traits, remind, that kind of sounds like traits. When you yeah. get those, those are pretty cool. Yeah. And then. So this is Bespin? Yeah, Cloud City. Isn't that a Pokemon? <laughs> That's Chespin. Cloud City? <laughs> yeah, it's Chespin. Um, Cloud City. Cloud <laughs> City, the Pokemon. I don't like this. <laughs> Just an entire city. Might be a new stage in Smash. Cloud, Cloud City. city? Yeah. Nice. Leia's completely against this idea, and Han's like, because she doesn't like cities run by. She's a bad feeling. She's racist. Wow. Oh my gosh, too. See, my friend. Well, was there any. Like, anyone not white in this movie besides you? Just, no, Lando, and that's it. This is the one guy. And this is the guy that flies the slave ship? No. No, no, that's, that, Boba, that's Fett. Boba Fett. Well, I guess Boba Fett's technically... Not Little Richard. No, Caucasian. <laughs> He's not Caucasian, He's but like you don't get Hawaiian to see... Hawaiian or something. Oh, no, there's another guy right back there. Yeah, I didn't actually see it. That's funny. Which, yeah, I don't know, like, I know probably none of you oh, that listen to the podcast. Well, yeah, I didn't see this. None of you that listen to the podcast, I imagine, like this, but, like, if you're not seeing Star Wars because you don't like that the main character is black, you got severe problems in your life, people, like... I feel like you brought up the thing, same thing with what Fantastic Four was. Because it's you know that's ending. what's happening? What? There, When the Star Wars trailer came out, there was a hashtag boycott Star Wars. You know why? Because they said because the main character is black. Some people are like, I'm not going to watch this. Really? That's a real thing. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing up. Some people have a problem that Finn is the main character and he's black, so they're not going to watch Star Wars. And it's like, good. I can go, more leg room for me. <laughs> like, if you're not going to, which, sorry, it's going to make billions of dollars without you. Like, yeah. no, it's just, I just, I don't know. It's that, I just don't understand why we're at that point anymore. It just doesn't, like, and saying people say this. I thought he was saying, like, he's, he like kissed her hand. I thought he was. He said it smelled like old smoothie. But oh, what does old smoothie smell like? I don't want to know. <laughs> Leia's apparently, like, apparently like Leia's hand. In Lego Star Wars, if you're Lando and you go up to Leia, you can like kiss her hand. Really? really? So she is kind of like Shmi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's man. her grandmother, right? Shmi's her grandmother. Yeah, exactly. it runs in the blood. Yeah, I was gonna say. Usually things like that skip a gene, so you know. There you go. Perfect. What's up, I Things like that. <laughs> like <laughs> horrorism. Whoa. That's what it is. Shmi is... If Shmi sleeps with everyone in the galaxy, which we've talked about. Yeah, but just because she has a kind heart. And, yeah, that's an all. Anyways, what else? <laughs> um, Lando is welcoming the whole team. They're all feeling legit and nice and safe. Isn't this where Sweet Thing gets to the He falls in love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he falls in love. I hate this He's part. like... I do like Silver, that. Silver, wow, what a scrub. Just pieces. <laughs> I do like that it does get us the, like, C-3PO Chewy backpack scenario. <laughs> or C-3PO stuck on Chewie's back. Lego Star Wars. What? Oh. Destroyed C-3PO on Chewie's back in Lego Star Wars. Yeah. I don't remember enough. Chew bag could just, chew bag could just carry mm-hmm. it. Chewie better not die. As much as I predicted it, I don't want him to die. It's too good of a character. So now they're piecing off a of Dagobah? Ju- yeah, just Luke, not Yoda. Yoda ain't going, unfortunately. What happens to Yoda in the rest of the series here? Don't spoil it. We're about to see it after. Oh, okay. He hooks it's- up with Leia. Oh, nice. <laughs> what to be honest, Yoda? it's very anticlimactic. That's crazy, because Yoda was hooking up with her grandma, too, back in the day, remember? Yeah. Oh, no. Al Guinness is back. I wonder how he felt doing these movies after the first Star Wars social success, because he thought it was going to bomb, it was going to be terrible, so I wonder how he felt coming back. He's probably like, oh, I get a lot of money, I'm cool with this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they've, they've only been trained for like a week, how has he learned all this? No, I think he meant since the last time he fought Vader, and that was three years ago, right? Mm, so yeah. I think like he's like he literally can like move his lightsaber now, or before he could. He can move. I can move my lightsaber, Yoda. I'm like way up here from where but I used that, to be. Yeah, but take about three years ago, he couldn't move it at all until you can move it. I feel that's like that's a lot better than like. Yeah, it's, but over three years, that's really not. That's a lot though. He's but he's just said he's a lot better than he was when he fought Vader. Like I think so. Like, Give me another three years, I'll make my ship move like five inches more. <laughs> 
Oh, we get to see that Return of the Jedi. He's a boss. Like, yeah. That's how I don't know in the new movies how like how he cannot be the most powerful Jedi of all time if he's had that many years of train. Like, because he's the only Jedi of all time. But he's in just the new tra- ones. Yeah, but I know. But I mean, like when we t- when we talked about remember we talked By about. By default, he's the best. Yeah, when we talked about who's gonna be better, him or Ben, and we said we'll wait until Force oh, Awakens yeah. to make that like judgment because, like I said, in. Return of the Jedi, he owns Vader, where Obi-Wan always has a problem with Vader. So do they yeah, get, like, stronger as they get older? Well, I think you still have to continue just, training, right? Just train up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's and like the rock. Just... If he just stopped training right now, he would start to shrink, right? So, just but in wiser. theory, even though he's going to be, like, old and wrinkly, he could still be stronger than, like, some young kid? Oh, well, yeah, for well, maybe, sure. Well, maybe Yoda is, like, a human, and he just, over the years... Has... We said, remember, he did <laughs> a lot of men. So we talked about this in the first one. He's so old that he shrivels down, his ears... Keep growing. <laughs> That's what the rocks are. And here's like. the first reveal that Luke has a brother or sister. Yeah, which, what the fuck is Ben talking about? He's like, oh, this is our last hope. Maybe and Yoda's like, no. He probably didn't have much faith in Leia becoming <laughs> Jedi because she's so into Ben was politics. probably talking about the state of the Sexism movies. was high in the 80s, so. Yeah. And racism. He doesn't like women. <laughs> Yeah, that's still that's still well, high. Yeah, we just talked they, about it. He was his one. Travis, love. they probably threw that in as an Easter egg. He probably said that about the, like the film series. What? There was no hope, but then like obviously he was very successful, so they threw that in just to spite him. <laughs> yeah, say this line. <laughs> Leia's <laughs> hair has changed. <laughs> say it. What'd you say? Leia's hair has changed. Oh, she's all relaxed now. Which that's That's fine. her relaxing hair. Yeah, but that's fine. Remember it's not how relaxing how doing that much work to your hair. Like <laughs> Remember how much time like Padme spent on her hair in the prequels? Like she's only changed it twice in this whole movie. I don't agree with this hair, but it looks inefficient. Like. Yeah, I feel like if she's running, like her loops could get caught in something, and she's like, she. I could make a very <laughs> dirty joke, but I'm not gonna, because who knows who's listening. But I want to hear it. We do have that M rating. Yeah, it is. Well, the way she has loops on her hair, it's great for Han to grab on in certain situations. <laughs> yeah, okay. <I> see. <laughs> when he's making the castle run. The yeah. <laughs> or if Leia falls and he catches her, right? Lots oh, of God, stuff. That would hurt. Basketball, know Leia, spread your hair open, and they're like shooting. <laughs> <laughs> they're replaying memories from the snow planet with the... <laughs> with the, with what? Those uh, the things that Luke was writing in the beginning. Tauntaun. The tauntaun. Tauntaun. Yeah, yeah. role playing Tauntaun. You want to be my Tauntaun? No, Han, <laughs> I don't. This is super weird. Oh, look at that position. He's right. Yeah. 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 The He's just sent her off to get like flustered. The Ugnaughts were just out to throw uh, C three PO into the furnace, but Chewie walked in and saved them. I love Lando walks with the fuck stuff in your hair. <laughs> yeah, Han maybe do this. That smile. Oh, Little Richard. Uh-oh, Han's yeah, got absolutely more beautiful. Han's not happy. Classic Leia, eh? Uh, <laughs> she's not bringing up on this herself. I love Lon- Lando's cape. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, look at that hand grab. She's like, I want a refreshment. She has a boat. Go. Look at him, he's already on the door. <laughs> yeah, screw C-3PO. <laughs> like, I'm going to eat. Drink. <laughs> yeah, I got to drink. <laughs> I'm 230 years old. <laughs> I'm still, wait, is that still his party stage or after? Uh, what did we say? It was the 200 he gets to It was 200 he has oh. to marry. Oh. But he's he been with Han. He's in denial. He doesn't want to settle down. <laughs> or, yeah, he's with... Yeah, maybe that's why he's attracted to Han. But Han turns is like, no, man. I... He just doesn't know how to express his feelings correctly. He <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just screams. <laughs> oh, man. Or maybe there's just nothing going on in his head. This is one of my favorite shots of entire Star Wars. Vader is at the dinner table. Han shoots, and he just blocks it with his hand. So fast, like boom, boom, psh, like it's awesome. Then we're Han's got good tra- reaction time. Oh, he does. Like Han's really good. Boba, he he looks really small. Look at that. Look at that gun. Yeah. It's like it's like a uh, Fallout yeah. mounted gun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I like, that thing. It's like one of the pistols that has like a marksman stock and a and a scope on. <laughs> <laughs> Just think, soon you'll be able to play as Boba, maybe. You saw? Have you seen the one where you can make a Death Claw companion? The mod? No. Yeah. I'm, there's mods for everything. Is there Boba? Find me Boba. Probably. The workshop's not up yet though, so it's kind of inconvenient right now. For what? Who uses workshop? Like seriously. I think for the consoles. Oh, is that, that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about Steam. Steam, oh. yeah. Because PS4 use and Xbox One mods, man. I don't, don't even have to like, pay to use that site? No. You just make an account. Well, the robot chicken version there, when they have dinner, Vader tries to drink his water through a straw, and then 
He's like, he's like, yeah, he's like. <laughs> he takes his. He's like, all right, wait for them to come. He's like, you know what? Maybe it'll be better if I'm by myself. He's like, yeah. He's like, you guys hide. Yeah. <laughs> and then he comes through. He's like, hello. Yeah. And then he shoots. <laughs> so right now they're they're torturing Chewbacca by just playing um, my size the wrecking ball. No, it's just very high pitched. I don't think that song is over yet. It's a dog whistle <laughs> that they're playing. A dog whistle. We can't dog. hear it. Only Chewie can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't think Miley Cyrus is born yet. Uh, you never know. Well, actually, technically she was, because this in the world would take place years after we're alive, right? So technically, a wrecking ball exists. And oh, that's so logic ball! No, isn't it supposed to be a long time yeah, ago? Yeah, a long, long time ago. But still, yeah. they could have been like, there was this person named Miley. No, but it's a long, long, time, long ago. time ago. But. Oh, do we think that maybe Billy Ray Cyrus was alive at this point? <laughs> no, 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 long, long yeah. time ago. He was good friends with Billy Ray D. Williams or Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. I always feel like this confirmed. is in the future, and like they're telling a the story from a long time ago. But I still feel like this happened after us. No, because it says in a, lo- a galaxy far, far away, or a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So this is a this is this is in the a 80s. long time ago <laughs> in a galaxy <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these weapons look brutal. Like, look at that. They're about to just stick him in this. And you're not going to be able to hear it, but Han screams. Ah. You, don't, you, don't want, you don't want those benefits. You don't want dental from Darth Vader. Right? His screams are awful in the movie. Like, ah. when you can actually hear them. Not the subtitle version. But <laughs> you didn't like my scream? No. Ah. <laughs> like, he's literally like, ah, ah, like. It's crazy. This deal's what, what getting worse all the exactly? time. Were they, like, turning him into... A version of Vader? No, they're just sticking him like a bunch of needles and shit. They're, I think they're just electrocuting him. Used by Greedo. Saw version? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> to get out of this trap, you have to get the key behind your eye. <laughs> <laughs> this deal is getting worse all the time. I don't understand why he's telling us. That guy? He can be programmed. <laughs> That's to do just things. a hearing aid. <laughs> yeah. He can get programmed to do whatever Lando wants him to do. So he's a robot. No, he's he's human. He's, like, he's, he's a, a slave. <laughs> he's a slave yeah. Pretty much. <coughs> C three P Bill is getting um, fixed. His hands on backwards, or his head. Sorry. You flea bitten furball. He's so pissed, and she's like trying, trying to help, help him. him. Yeah. 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 Everyone's just gonna like disintegrate him. On, not doing too good after the torture. No scars though. They bruised him under his clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you look like shit, Hans. No, his hair just looks messed up. That's about it. Yeah. At least they have a bed. That's good. But it doesn't look like a comfortable bed. <laughs> he he I would doesn't take look like he's been tortured by having pins poked in his face. I'm just gonna say that. No, he, well, he was just electrocuted. Under the clothes, so he doesn't but show But he scars. said that he even had pins poked in his. He face. didn't have pins put in his head. The thing like, when it just shocked his brain. They look pretty pinny. <laughs> but pretty pinny. Pretty pin like. Oh. She's making a move. Well, she doesn't have much time. <laughs> this might be it. She is a virgin after all, so. Is oh, she? I don't know. She's, she's probably fooled around. around. She's a princess. Wow. Whoa. I feel like that's the right. opposite. I feel like princesses aren't fooled around. Only in Disney's. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> Actually, she had some. Even Padme. Padme. Padme Leia lose in episode two, Padme had some fun with that boy who went off to. But be, she uh, never said that she had sex. I with think boy. she did. It's implied. It's just it's PG, so they can't say that in these movies. It's PG thirteen. I think mean, they could say it. Let's see if there's another question. Maybe Han took it. <laughs> Probably. Or Luke. <laughs> oh gosh, that's gross. I was in robot chicken. Luke and Leia in bed, and <laughs> Luke's like, oh, Le- Leia tells him, and Luke's like, you knew, and Leia's like, yeah, or something like that. I don't know, it's vice versa. <laughs> oh gosh, cool story, Hans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finding any success. I don't. I don't think you're gonna. No. Those little midget things are going in there. Little people. That's what they like to be called. Those little guys? They're Ugnaughts. Ugnaughts? Yeah. They look like goblins from Harry Potter. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> From the bank. Gringotts. The bank. Yeah, the bank. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, for everyone, <laughs> we are at, we're in the chamber, the carbon freezing chamber, and then we just changed scenes to Luke Skywalker flying in to Bespin, and he doesn't need a landing permit like Han Solo did, he's just gonna go in and land. Because, <laughs> you know, he doesn't give any fox. He's, he's a no Jedi, fox. man, he doesn't have to. They have a spot reserved for him. Reserved for Jedi. Nice. It's old though. It has been used for a while. <laughs> I'd love that uh, C three PO in my back. He can take all the bullets for me. That's awful. <laughs> he can. He wouldn't die. He just rebuild them. <laughs> Look at that leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's like by his head. Essentially a weapon. But what if that's like the only guy who will go up to Darth Vader and be like? Fuck you for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Boba's a badass, though. He is. He's actually, like, one of my favorite characters. <laughs> oh, I've got some very descriptive stuff on <laughs> not what I was looking for. Leia fantasies, gosh. No, there's one that gives Leia's cup size. This is... <laughs> it's a wiki just on Slave Leia. Slave Leia? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Didn't they sell that, like, costume for... On eBay or something, or like an Yeah, it went for like it went for lower than I thought. One was expensive. Oh, best line ever. She said, "What doesn't she say? I, I love know. you." Yeah. And I he's know. like, "I know." <laughs> what is he saying? Family I guy, know. I love you. And Han Solo, Family Guy says, "Fuck off." Yeah, he's, he's like, like "Fuck up. off." And yeah. the Family Guy version lands like, "I love you," and he's like, "Fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> Classic Han reveling in won't even say won't even say it back. Even though I'd say he'd like lay a lot longer, but. Chewie's like, I love you, Hunt. Don't do oh, this. Oh, Lando's thing. like, okay, I can make my move now. And yeah. originally, um, Harrison Ford wanted George Lucas to kill him in this movie, but they settled on this. But originally, he wanted him to kill him. Why? Just because he. Maybe he that's why they wanted Lando out. was going to replace Han. Maybe. Yeah. And maybe. Lando. That's, that's why, why he has Han's clothes. clothes. Yeah. yeah. It all makes, it all sense, makes sense. And yeah. plus, at this time, this is when he was starting doing Indiana Jones, so you'd think he was getting more money to do that, too, because he's the main guy, right? Where, like, yeah. he's a he's a main player in this, but he wasn't the main guy. But That's thank true. God they didn't kill him, because there'd be no Harrison Ford in the new Star Wars. Mm -hmm. and I like Six, Billy D. Williams and Ghost. all that. What? Ghost Hand Solo? God. <laughs> but he couldn't, because he didn't know the Force. You don't know that. No, that's a fact. All living things go into the force, though. But have he, you seen his? Remember, he has to be trained to be able to talk as a ghost. Remember? That's true. Yeah. I want the fridges of this, the Han Solo and Kryptonite, like you have the <laughs> fridge. I really, when I'm rich, that's life goals right there. Like, <laughs> to have that fridge. Well, yeah. In Good. the Lego Star Wars, you could play as that. Yeah, yeah. and you just, just like, like bump around. around. <laughs> you know, really? I don't yeah. that. That's the good thing about Lego Star Wars, you can play as like anything. Yeah. Like, look at Lego Star so Wars, play characters. the Squirrel Girl. Like. There's so Squirrel many Squirrel Girl brings the hype. Like I said, I want those remastered. Maybe we'll get that. You think we can maybe get that with the new Lego, like the they'll new franchise? They'll make new ones, and then oh, yeah. maybe they'll re-release and do like a whole nine game one. That'd, that'd be, be pretty. Oh, that'd be value. That's hype. I want that so badly. I want that re-release because I just want to replay the Lego Star Wars again. How's Bo supposed to get him out of there? You think he'd be pretty? He has heavy. slaves for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bo like, went doing goodness. that. Bo Boba would sweat a lot doing <laughs> yes, all that. Lifting. He has slave two and three to help him. Slave 2 and 3. Like <laughs> Chanel 2 and 3. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. The Wookiee. What a double a crossing name. bastard. The Wookiee. <laughs> this deal's getting worse all the time. Darth Vader is not a good guy. No, he's pretty evil, I heard. And so, he has he survived that exactly? He's just frozen. In his views, the Jedi are evil. It's like, in my, my, from my perspective, yeah. the Jedi are evil. They should have left Han in there, and then he'd be young in the episode 7. It's just like, the it's just like, young, no. so that doesn't work. It's just frozen. Yeah. yeah it's like Captain America. Like, you have frozen iceberg. He's still young. Because, yeah, how many years pass between this one and Return of the Jedi? Only one I think it's five. Time. Is that the last one? I looked that no, up. not like no, not like in storyline, not in like the filming. Yeah, no. I'm... I think it's five years. So that means is that the, how I much? So much time in between these movies. Well, it's lots of shit has to happen, right? I could yeah. probably be way off. I don't know why, but just so five if years. it was five years, Han, Han, <laughs> one year, 
Bam. One year? Okay. I, I said, I said Guys, it. Last time real. Taylor guessed something, it was that Wookiee's lift. I think your rating is at like one after this whole, like you got like one more movie to redeem yourself. Yeah, no, but I, I, <laughs> before I say it, I say I could be way off and I could be uh, wrong. I don't know. Yeah, so... But I guess a Trump. Apple Watch. <laughs> yeah. See, this happened be- yeah, after us. Like, Ooh, 2,000 steps. <laughs> Between 1 and 2, it's 10. 2 and 3 is 3. 3 and 4 is 19. 4 and 5 is 3. And 5 and 6 is 1. And then 6 and 7 is 30. Was I right about the three years, did you say? Uh, yeah, between the the last one and this one is 3. Okay, my rating's up. I okay. was right. Because I was hoping it was like five years. because but that was in the beginning of the movie, I thought, in the credit thing. Yeah, but I just said it could have been in there. I, I wasn't paying attention. It's well, a trap! Uh, you got your first... It's a trap. Unless it's a trap. He says it before everything, then if he's wrong, he can't get blamed for yeah, it. Yeah, it's like the copyright, like, yeah, it's but like you're the really hard just spreading misinformation. Yeah. And letting but it could be wrong. Ro- but I could be wrong. <laughs> but Here's I could this be right. But it, it, you know, 50 50. No, I was hoping it was like five years because in the storyline, like, Leia's a lot younger than, like, um, Ford than Han. So if she would have woke him up five years later, they would have been like the same age. That would have been mm-hmm. funny. Oh, here we go. A lot of people really, really, like, Love this scene because it's the first scene it's where really Luke great. and Darth fight each other for the first time. You can feel like it's the... fantastic, and it's slower, but it's really good. It's not yeah. like the dancing stuff in the prequel. Well, and Darth Darth Vader's not trying to kill Luke; he's just no. trying to see what he's got. Well, he's just... technically trying to freeze him. Remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not like right away. He's trying. He's trying to just. So the is this the Ivy's father scene? Uh, uh, yeah, that's five up minutes soon. later. Yeah, there's a, this is a it's a long scene because they they fight all over and you get that great moment where the window cracks and like they're getting sucked through and we'll try to talk. It's very intense right now and great mm. shot, like great shot of like Vader. You can mm-hmm. barely see his face and it's very well done. What determines how fast the lightsaber comes out? Because like Luke's came out a lot faster. Vader's, than Vader's. set his to cool yeah. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, one it's handed. Yeah, one, one handed. Hand. Like, I don't like those toys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did that a lot of the prequels, I noticed. Like, Duke always did that. Was like, yeah. Maybe they just used those toys and then add the CGI on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, same way as Darth Maul, he put one out and then, like, the other one yeah. came out really slowly. Mm-hmm. So, like, does that happen all the time? Because that sucks. <laughs> yeah, when you're trying to fight and it doesn't go oh. out. Yeah, when you, yeah. For, oh, when, yeah. when you forget to turn both the cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or it's floppy. <laughs> Look at those stormtroopers just give up. They're like, fuck this. <laughs> well, fuck there is done. two of them, I guess. No, like there was four. Years. There was four of them. Okay, four against 20. Still not yeah, the greatest They're alliance. imperial soldiers. They should die to the last man. Oh, How do you guys so. like the newer armor of the stormtroopers? Really team? cool. You yeah. prefer it? Uh, the old ones? It's hard to say because I'd, I'd want to see these old ones in high definition too. We but will, though. Rogue One. Oh yeah, true. Then we'll know. But like, yeah. I like them. I like that it's a bit sleeker. It um, like there's no like edges. I kind of like that. They look like even though it's kind of outrageous, they look more easy to wear and not so clunky. So I like it. I they look easier to wear. A bit easier, but like I like it that they changed it, but nothing like extreme. Just like little yeah. touches. Just like like updates. And that's why I like hopefully what seven like that's what seven looks like like all the ships look like they're the same but with a few new added things yeah. or different coloring which is fine yeah, that's cool. where the prequel you couldn't recognize the droids you couldn't recognize the ships like none of that are in these movies so did yeah. you like that scene in the trailer where that stormtrooper is like badass and flips out his oh like, that storm thing? these stormtroopers don't give a fuck <laughs> there's no. a jedi in the new trip well like if finn he has his lightsaber and one of the stormtroopers just takes out a sword and he takes that and he goes to fight finn it's like these stormtroopers give no fucks they think they're the baddest asses in the <laughs> planet awesome. Like, so that looks like they are a bit more trained, which does look like Kylo Ren is, like, somehow not more evil than Vader, but he's more, I think he's more determined, maybe. I think Vader is very cocky in these movies, oh, where yeah. I think Ren is, like... Vader just, like, he has something to prove. kills his crew for, he's like, <laughs> yeah, for, like, he, stops yeah. lasers. Yeah, he did <laughs> just fight Luke with one hand. You know, maybe hand. it's just, like, part of his, like, religion or something, like, he has to sacrifice a certain amount of... I don't think so. I think he's day. making those Couple choices. So they're trying to <laughs> shoot... They're trying to shoot, like, all the stormtroopers. <laughs> so, update... Oh, R2's going to... Learn like, R2's them. like, holy fuck, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> so, update, Boba just got away, and uh, Lando's, hel- Lando's helping Lando's helping them out. We're back to Luke and Vader right now. You learn much, young one. Oh... I think uh, Vader's actually got more surprises than you do there, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. Luke got out of the way, but... Oh, that, <laughs> I was expecting that. He jumps like that in Battlefront. I love his jump. He looks like a badass. Yeah. 
I don't like when the Emperor jumps. It's kind of weird. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, but Darth was... Vader's the best with yeah. his jump. He's okay, <laughs> gonna show off his power of sucking his lightsaber here now, right? Oh, no, never mind. He does that on purpose, though, kind of. Because he force jumps out of there. That great scene. Oh, shit. You didn't even see him. Perhaps you're not a strong. Is he a blood pot? Now, this whole trap felt like it's falling apart. Yeah, this whole trap felt like it's falling apart. Now, this whole trap felt like it's falling apart. This whole trap is based on. He had one goal to get him in the hole. He fucked up. I like Luke. Fuck you, Vader. Smoke to the eyes. And, like, it's little touches, but I like that Luke's hair is all, like, gross and sweaty. Like, he looks like he's actually trying. That's what I mean. Like, Hank Christian looks, like, pristine and perfect while he's fighting. Like, they, he looks like he's putting up a big fight. Like, he uses L'Oreal. <laughs> it's because like, like he spent all that time wishing his feelings. He hooked up with Chewie's product. Oh. No, I actually, I, re- I retract that. Chewie looks pretty greasy upon yeah. more investigation. Oh, he actually got the better of Vader right there. I kind of forgot that happened. Vader lowered like, him. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but, see, that's what I mean. I like these fights that are quick, but they feel like they're actually trying to hit you. That's always my problem. I love the prequel fights that they are really, like, well-trained one up, but they do look so much like they never look like they're actually trying to hit you. You can tell they're just like, okay, you'll hit up, up. Like, it looks very, it looks too choreographed for me. Where these, like, they look like they're actually trying to fight, and that's where the new trailers look like that, too. Like, Finn does not look skilled at all. He looks like he's just like, oh! Like, and Ren, like, who knows? I think Ren's just going to be really brutal. I love this part coming up. Does he I just does he force throw something into the window? Or yeah, what? he's using the force to make objects fly. Up. I love this this score here, the Clash of Lightsabers score. Yeah. I have on my iPod. It's amazing. They used to use like these stores scores for like a lot of old Star Wars games, like on the PS, like PlayStation. I play remember it was great. That's another thing I wish Battlefront had was a lot more of these scores. Oh, I think they have a lot of cool older Ooh. schools that don't get played a lot, though. Yeah, they, they play the them and there's like a lot? period of like no music playing. <laughs> yeah. Luke holding his own, not too bad. And then. Oh, 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 oh. instant knockout. As Taylor would say, dirty. Dirty uh, force tricks. Yeah, <laughs> just misses. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh that hurts. Right oh, in the ribs. I don't like that he's like this trying to swing at the stuff. Pretty bad. That is bad, because he's yeah. just like, he's swinging at the stuff and like, oh! Oh, he's gone. Oh. There goes Luke. And Vader just has no problem, like, avoiding the section. Well, I he, think it's kind of cool. Down down yeah, exactly. Yeah. Those boots, right? Yeah. They don't... The, the lava boots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on me. Yeah. <laughs> or shame on you. The famous quote, Luke, I am your father. That's actually never been said. Well, that actually didn't come up yet, folks, just so you know. I know if you're watching saying, all, No, what? Saying. But if someone's not watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. we totally skip that. Yeah, so actually, far, we don't know don't Luke is actually that. a Spoiler alert. Yeah. Throughout the entire series, he doesn't say that word for word. Like, Luke, I am your father. What does he say? You'll see. You'll see. Oh. I don't like, want to wait. Because he's, like, he's, like, he's like, Obi-Wan told you that I killed your father or something. And then he's like... But he says, no, oh, Luke, I am two dies again. No, we'll watch. We'll watch. Okay, it should be yeah. saved R2. What a nice But isn't that in the nice last one? What's that? That's not in this one. Though. Yeah, yeah it is. That's a big reveal. That's why it's everyone's favorite. It's dark. Oh, it's, really? In this one, the bad guys win. <laughs> like, yeah. legit. No, R2-D2 got electrocuted because he thought it was a computer terminal. Like, everybody uses this as a ten pole for sequels a lot of times. <laughs> like, the last Spider-Man, they said, the director said he was trying to make it like this, and it didn't really pan out, but that was his goal. Beep, blip, beep. No, I. Okay. It's not Vex. That's why he was gonna mention it. Does he just not say Luke? What's that? Does he say no? I am your father. I am. I'm actually kind of set second guessing myself. He yeah, I Luke. think. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I am. A, I will bet all of my points on this, Luke. I am your father. I don't think. He, I think he might not say Luke. You sure. I think as he's like Ben says, he's like no, I am your father. I don't think he's. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think Travis. It's might possible be that it yeah. might be your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask Padme to get a test, so I don't know 100% she was sleeping with Jar Jar. <laughs> Who's Jar Jar? Don't worry. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's my good lord. Simple, yeah. He's going he's to train you when you oh, join the team. He was my best he man at my wedding. After he says, search your feelings, you know it to be true. Yeah, but that's not a part of that quote that we're talking about. No, I know, but he says, Luke, after I'm your father. Well, see, if Every you're wrong, you I, am wrong. Right. I am wrong. If you're wrong, the meter's down to zero. <laughs> I know. I am wrong. <laughs> you got to return the Jedi to get you back down to ten. See, once again, that's what I like about these original movies. This movie just flew by. 
when we wish to watch the prequels, they felt like it took a, a lot long of time. Like, and these are the same long. amount, like, run times. Like, they're very similar. Like, two hours, ten minutes, two yeah. hours, eleven. Like, these fly by really quick. The pacing's good. The story's there. good. But the prequels, it was just always like, Jesus, we're still at this part. They forgot someone, though. Like, I would like a battle for you. <laughs> That's the later. second time they've <laughs> Wait, left. So are we? We're still at Bespin, then, yeah? Yeah. Cloud okay. City. Luke almost dies here. Okay. Yeah, but Darth doesn't. He doesn't want to kill him. You know, but like if like, like look at that. Like he almost got <laughs> killed. Vader and those stealth <laughs> skills, man. <laughs> you know how long he's probably holding his breath for that? <laughs> <laughs> system malfunctioning. System. <laughs> Breathe, sir. <laughs> Shut up. I got a surprise. Damage him. Damage. And yeah, because when he's not, he's not actually trying to kill him. So what was his goal? They're like, I'm just scared the fuck out. <laughs> Pretty much. I thought you were saying he was just testing him right now. So. He's but that's what I mean. Up. Like that. That seemed like that was a kill. Like that jump out of the corner was, was like, really that violent. That was for the kill. Maybe he was just going for his sure. hands to get to make him drop. <laughs> yeah. Him. Here it comes. Oh. One, two. Oh. oh right in the shoulder. Right in yeah. the shoulder. Like Luke does pretty good. Game over. Luke's hand gone. You need that. Yeah. There was no escape. Don't, Don't make me see, destroy This you. is where you really get to see, like, this, they didn't have the prequels at the time, oh. but for the <laughs> difference between Luke and Anakin, you know, like, he didn't he didn't want to join the dark side so much, he was willing to kill himself here. He didn't know what was waiting for him at the bottom. He jumped off. Oh, yeah. That's why it looks better. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. But I like I like seeing the differences between the father and son here. And this is when Darth Vader is propers, pro propositioning Luke to help kill the Emperor, so they can rule together. Vader, the uh, spin doctor. I will never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. <laughs> Oh, Luke is still badass, even though he's lost his you hand. You told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Oh. Boom! Points for Travis. Uh, yeah. Is that what? Oh, you That's what that? I called it. Yeah. Because right. I didn't think he said Luke, and then it, I think he does say like switch your feelings. Good job, Mark Hamill. For reactions to horrible news, I think this is the best of all time for. It's that. still like there's things like the very first Saw movie and whatnot, but like I still think this is the greatest twist of all time like I don't even though there's signs like I think it's just because it just affects the franchise so much and I don't think there'll ever be a twist like there's like the sixth sense and whatnot but like this twist like the main bad guy the whole first two movies is your father and it's like fuck like apparently Vader means father in yeah. German that was, I mean, yeah. it's not well like if you were German you knew it but I but as an eight year old kid I don't know that you were, you were eight and when you watch this? When an eight-year-old kid? You were eight when you watched these first? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I was given the VHSs. We t I'm not sure if we were, well, maybe we weren't there, but yeah, that's how <laughs> someone else like, watched fuck. it. Yeah, my grandma gave me, she won, like, there's a really collector's edition of the VHSs, and it has, like, a Stormtrooper, <laughs> okay, Vader, was, Yoda, and that's all I saw. Because we asked if you had seen the prequels <laughs> before the Great Special Effects. And I had seen those before the prequels, and same as, I think, everyone else. So Luke just got sucked into the garbage chute. Force. Like, man, force. that was lucky. I think he used I don't some know if force. He's very powers. Lucky there. <laughs> I don't know, he could have died. Well, right yeah. there's even more risky, though. That beam's not there. He's just falling. Now, I'm wondering, I hope they explain where the they get the lightsaber from that he dropped down there. What do you mean? Well, because the Luke's or Anakin's lightsaber is in episode 7. Well, there's a rumor that they find there. it. That they I find Luke's see. hand still, like, attached to I'd want to see that because that's intense. That's a rumor. It's but. still on. What? It's still like on. Yeah. <laughs> Just kills. We haven't turned off because it's a great like bug killer. I mean, like the mugs like constantly like our bug zapper. And whoever opened this door is like fuck you, Luke. I'm closing <laughs> it now. Ben. And now Brian. Ben doesn't answer him. What a joke. But yeah, I think I don't think there's any twist like in all of, like media that like is that big. And like this is like back then when twists weren't that big of a thing. So it's like. I don't think anybody will ever top this in any medium. Like, this is the twist that everyone quotes and talks about. Like, I'm your father. Like, that's everywhere. So, I don't think I don't think you can it's top meme it. status. Yeah, like I don't. I think it's it's untoppable, and that's called obviously because it happened first. But do you think this is a foreshadow that Leia is the other? Yeah. Because like because she can sense him. Yeah. yeah, but it's because we don't know that he's. What we if just it's see just a love him. connection? Well, we just <laughs> we love just see shack. him. 
We just see him check. saying Leia and trying to reach out to someone. Out of all the people, he reaches out to her, so she senses that. So, I, like, I think because we could just assume, well, what if he reached out to Lando or Chewie? I don't we, think they were. No, I don't I, think that's No, right. I don't think so. I think because she's force sensitive, she picks it up. That's why I think so. Vader's pissed. Brother sister bond. So, did they find out their brother sister in this movie? No. It's the next one. Yeah. He doesn't actually. If, does. Oh, he does tell Leia, right? Yeah, he does, right? I've totally forgot, right? They don't tell Han to, like, the third act. Because Han's whole worried the whole time that Leia's gonna leave him for Luke. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Like, he's. It's really good. The slips as soon as they're there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's get him with the ship. They just impale him. <laughs> he's on the line. Goes to jump and they. Oh, look at the psych! Yeah. And imagine Luke, who has not met Land- Lando, and he's like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and why are you in the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. <laughs> he, sh- he should have been Han's clothes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm Han. I'm yeah. Han. He's a disguise. Probably the only person of color he's ever seen, too. Yeah, yeah just... what is this? Yeah, what is are you on the dark <laughs> side? <laughs> oh my well, in a way, I am. <laughs> I'm Little Richard. <laughs> Why do you think he's Little Richard? He looks exactly like Little Richard. Little Richard has a big, like, perm. Like, he has, a, like, much longer hair, and his, I think his stash is a bit longer. I feel like no. <laughs> I feel like no. Like, I'm going to find a picture of Little Richard right now, and it's going to look exactly like that. <laughs> well, folks, we got to search shop and see that. Oh, look at that. What, Little Richard in your search history? No, our, what was that? our podcast popped up on my podcast of, like, podcasts you need to listen to. Oh, a good cast. I don't know. It, it looks out. pretty similar to Little Richard. <laughs> Let's see. Is his hair a bit bigger, though? Come on. His hair is pretty <laughs> firm. Look at his hair. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <it is. laughs> no, most of the time. Like, Little Richard and his prime has that huge <laughs> perm. works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can tell, folks, that this is totally Fox News against Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this whole ep- we just call this episode uh, Star Wars Episode Five: Attack Against Travis. Yeah. The podcast strikes back. <laughs> so now Lando uh, here, everybody. He's getting really choked because his people didn't fix the hyperdrive, and they're fleeing from Darth Vader's flagship, the Executor. So did they um, snag? I forgot what happens to Han-, Han Solo. He's with Boba Fett going back to Jabba right now. Oh, okay. It is, uh, so are they trying to go find him? No, they're just trying to get out of here. Oh, okay. No one cares about Han. No one cares. And here you see Vader reach out to Luke through the force on the ship, which is pretty intense. That's the first time you ever see that happen. Beep, beep, blip, blip, beep, blip. <laughs> Gotta use protection, R2. You looking up, Travis? Roadblock. Oh, nothing. I just not Darth Vader's. Darth Vader's reaching Some out news. to Luke. Father. I feel like Darth, like even though he's on the dark side here, I feel like he's he kind of was like drifting away from it a little bit. I think he was once he realized he had a son because he never knew he had a son, mm-hmm. right? Well, I guess he did, but maybe once he like, I don't know. He did know for a while, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's so fine. So then, is it just because Darth Vader... Shit. Well, Darth Vader saw Leia. Does he just not know her last name was Skywalker, then? He, yeah. Leia's last name was Organa. Mm-hmm. They changed Because his her adoptive father was Bail Organa. Okay. So that's why no one knows. Mm-hmm. So then how'd they find <laughs> out? He's, Darth Vader sensed it through Luke when they fight in the next movie. Oh, okay. Because Luke knew, and so he was able to pick it up for him. So Luke knew, so how did Luke find out? He finds out in the next movie when Yoda tells him. Or, yeah, Yoda tells him. No, he hints it towards it. Right? Well, he says there's another Skywalker. And then he's like, it's Leia. He's like, yep. <laughs> it's, your, it's your cousin. And Luke's like, damn it. <laughs> Is it a first cousin or a second cousin? <laughs> Kissing cousins. Yeah. The second cousin, I can work with that. He was like, ew. And he just so what was he, were they born in? Three? Yeah, three. So they're like 25 right now? Yeah, about their mid-20s. Yeah. See, Admiral Piet is thinking, oh shit, now I'm going to get choked. But you, I think Darth <laughs> Vader's just you like, know what? He's, just, he's just so <laughs> disappointed. Yes, you know what I just realized? The yeah. new heroes 
season is essentially the same as Star Wars, if you think about it. Two kids have to, like, save the world. Yeah, separated and, and separate. then brought back together. <laughs> this scene had it. a lot of, like, feel to it, too. Like, you can feel, like, because he, he, he was really just, like, emotionally upset, I feel. Like, losing that connection with his son, because yeah, it just feels like a, a really important scene. It's like, damn, my son on. didn't go to the dark side. Yeah, no, I agree, because every other what time there's... Yeah, what a douchebag. Every other time there's a big screw-up, he, like, turns to the people and, like, yells at them or kills them, but that time he just, like, walks off to, mm-hmm. like, his chamber, so... To his, his box. To his, yeah. His to, circle His thing. circle. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my circle. Take off his helmet. There, Han's clothes. How about that? It's very wow. weird. My weird. thing is, <laughs> my thing is, I guess maybe like he needed a change of clothes, and that's just the only thing yeah. that's yeah. on the ship. ship. That makes sense. But like he didn't need to wear the vest. I didn't wearing notice that until too. the family guy. So he's, he's like, why is why is he wearing Han's clothes? Yeah, I never noticed. And then that. I went back to the movies and looked at him like, oh my god, he's is. he's got him buttoned up right to the top. Like Han had his kind of like oh, because Han's cool. scruffy looking. Yeah, that's cool. New hair, so again for Leia. Luke's getting a new hand right now. What, what does old man Herbert say? How about let's take that old the new thing for a test drive? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. terrible. <laughs> but yeah, but is so his, does like, he just wear... mitochondria still work through his hand? I think so. Is he just mitochondria? Wear... <laughs> Isn't that he what they were called? Like, I know in the next movie, <laughs> he wears a black glove. Yeah, that was but fun. in Star Wars, the like, don't like, exist in these movies. So mitochondria is the powerhouse. I don't know. I think, it's like, I think it's like a phobia for people that lose hands because even Anakin wore a glove over his. I like, thought that was just his black glove. I think it's because the, the metachlorians don't work through his hand, so there's no point in not wearing no. a glove. The metachlorians do not exist in this movie. He's got his creepy robot hand on his shoulder. See, his just like a direct. His hand is very different in episode 7. It's like in this one it's like it looks like a human well, hand. In episode seven he has no skin on it. I know, like, so it's completely different. Galaxy. So I wonder if <laughs> why he got burnt off. Yeah, that makes are. sense. They were looking wow. at us. Showed us. They were looking at us at the Milky Way Galaxy. Oh. Ooh, yeah. wow. See? It's like that's where I got my Apple but Watch. They're not going into the Milky Way Galaxy, they're going <laughs> yeah. they're just turning like this. <laughs> See? Been, not George over, Lucas. All right. I thought but we had like another hour to go. Produced. Oh, by Gary Kurtz. Yeah. Little I, know. I didn't Gary. say produced by George, so. And then I uh, cashed in, yeah, he's the guy that wrote it. George. Yeah. <laughs> George screen, Lucas is... no. All, all credit goes to George Lucas. Yeah, the <laughs> screenplay is the stuff. The George story Gary is like, this should happen, this should happen. Okay, George, and the screenplay, that's where the good stuff happens as a person that does the screenplay. Harrison Ford. Carrie Fisher. I know that Harrison Fisher Ford now movie. gets top bill over all of them in the new movies. What's that? He's top billed over all of them. Oh, what? That's not Little Richard. Wow. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> so that was that was episode five Frank, slash two. Frank Oz is Yoda. Kind of want to look at what Frank Oz actually looks like. He he's just like a balding old guy. Yeah. He's smaller than Yoda. He does a bunch of voices for the Muppets too. <laughs> a bunch of meth. No, he's fine. <laughs> but that was uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Um, There's probably a lot of joking, but I think that's because a lot of seen it before. Like I spoiled this in the last podcast, but my rating of this is a ten. I still think it's the greatest Star Wars they've ever done. Um, flows all the whole way through. There's good battle scenes. There's good drama. There's good twists and turns. Like yeah, it's just it's just like a perfect Star Wars movie. It's but we do our movie. ratings out of seven now. Well, then it's a seven out of seven. <laughs> but yeah, either way, for me, it's a perfect movie. Um, like there's Snow not creature it, does win. even movies that are like a nine point mi- nine or a set or a six yeah, it's just called Snow Creature. It's a wampa. They name nope. it later. Same way as like Ewoks are never called Ewoks in other movies, but. John Dix. But yeah, there's nothing in this movie I would change. There's like, like I said, the only thing that sometimes maybe Dak. doesn't hold up is like... <laughs> Dak's not even a rogue, or a rogue, he's just Luke's gunner. Yeah. Luke's gunner, well. No, it was under rogue, there was like a rogue title, and then there was the rogues listed under it. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's go around. What are, what, what are we rating this? What's our one? Yeah, out of 10 or out of 7? Whatever you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you feel is right. Yeah. Um, I'll give it. <laughs> not everyone go first. I'll give it six lightsabers out of seven. And why? Oh, why out of, six? Out of seven. I don't know. It was alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was just wondering why. Like, what? Like, what were some like, like negatives for you? That's why I just like to pick your brain. Because um, I think the other three here are ten out of ten. So we don't have any negatives. That's why I'm trying to spice it up. Uh, I don't know. It was. It was uh, I felt like not a lot happened. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. What about you, Taylor? I think the last one was oh. more entertaining for me, honestly. Oh. Really? 
Okay. Also, I don't think I was paying a lot of attention. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're joking too much. I um, I think as far as sequels go, I think it was a perfect sequel. I have I and give a prequel. Pers- what? And a perfect and, prequel. And a perfect prequel. <laughs> I uh, I give it a ten out of ten. Um, I think the story was awesome. I think all the acting was great. I think it was so many intense moments and the score. I. Yeah, I have most of this this soundtrack on my iPod than all the other Star Wars movies. Yeah. I love the score so much. Yeah, uh, it's flawless in my opinion. I like it's really it's the darkest. So even Revenge of the Sith this is so dark. This movie, feels yeah, because like, it ends with the bad guys like really win. Even Revenge of the Sith, like they win, but like it's still like oh, there's hope. This is like that's that was a that's a huge thing for me because you get to see the Empire actually show their strength. Yeah, and win around. Yeah, Kirkland, seven out of seven. Okay. 7 out of 7? I was going to say 7 out of 10 for a second. <laughs> I would have lost it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm probably only like 8 or 9 out of 10. That's so respectable. So, I don't know. It's good. And there are like little things in it that make it good. Like Luke being all sweaty when he's fighting Vader and stuff. But I agree. I kind of feel like not really much happened. Like it was just... Like I agree that it's kind of paced. But it's slow... Kind of. Han gets frozen. They realize the Empire's a lot deeper than they are. Luke... Oh, I didn't know we weren't allowed our own opinions. The wow. Luke? Yeah, I'm just so surprised when it's like when you feel, say nothing's happened, that whole Hoth battle, you meet Yoda, Luke is trained a bunch, Darth is his father. Like, there's so much in the film. You first... get to see the Emperor. Yeah, yeah, there's so much that happens in this. I, you guys, I'm not saying it changed your score, I'm just surprised because like, I feel like this one has the most that happens, actually, because Return of the Jedi is just kind of like, oh yeah, Leia's your sister, and then let's fight. See, I feel like you're probably partly basing your opinion on like your memory of it, not, like, I'm comparing it to what I know now as movies and comparative to like all the other ones and what I expect to happen in the new one um, where I think you're just like stuck on like this memory of a perfect movie from your childhood I don't think I so I don't think so no. there's a ton of development in, yeah. in this movie ab- above all, all if like, you look the at the ones. very first Star Wars like a lot happens in that one but he meets Ben if you think about it they meet Ben they go to the Death Star they blow it up and that's it uh-huh. like with this there's you got the whole Battle of Hoth and then you got the like like, development of the is, love story. I'm not saying like Han this isn't the best one. I just don't think it's. I think it's like, a ten because it's just just so much does happen, but it's not that it does happen. It's so well done, and all the characters that's what I like are fleshed out. Even Lando, who's not in it that long, like you understand his motives, and like he seems like he, like he it really seems like it's against his will. That's I mean, like all these characters, even Chewie, who is like not doing that much. You kind of like understand what he's always doing. Like no, there's no screen time that's ever wasted. And that, for me, is a big thing of, like, making a movie 10 out of 10. It's, like, there's stuff that, like, in the new James Bond, I really liked it, but there's lots of scenes where, like, this didn't need this. Where every scene in here, I feel, is needed. And it explore, expands the universe so much, like, when they land on that asteroid with the monster. Like, there's good thrills. Like, no, like, I, I could agree. I think the twist is more, like, the, uh, like, memory stuff for me. That, I'll give it as far as being the greatest twist. That's definitely the memory. But as far as the movie, like... I feel like, like, with Return of the Jedi, I can watch it now and be like, there's problems with this movie. It's not as good as the movie. And same with New Hope, like, there's a few things, but with this, I still feel like I still watch it at this age, and I feel it holds up as being a really good movie. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you right now that it's not the highest rated episode on... Yeah, it, it should be the first Rock one, Tomatoes. right? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? Nope. Uh, the highest rated one is Force Awakens. How? It's not even out yet. <laughs> well, that's the That doesn't even I bet you the guy who passed is probably the only one who Oh, passed. you're awful. No, what are the <laughs> ones are the ones that are Sorry. out? Okay, because so the Force so Awakens is even out. Uh, so, basically, that, uh, Clone Wars is absolute crap, according to Rotten Tomatoes. Revenge of the Sith is 79. Attack of the Clones is 65. Phantom Menace is 56. Return of the Jedi is 79. Yeah. Uh, Empire Strikes Back is actually tied with New Hope at 94. So it's tied at the best one. Except for... The Force, the force the Awakens Force. does not count. It's not even out yet. It's no... It's just people raining it high. Like, that's just... They're excited. It, they expect it to be a 99. Yeah, exactly. So, like, yeah. See, it's the best reviewed along with the first one. Which I think the first one, too, like, to me... I can't remember what I gave it a 9.5 when we reviewed this, but I almost gave that a 10 as well, because that movie holds up. That movie, I think it's not as complex as this, but it's so damn good. There's so many good twists and turns. Like, yeah. I so. agree. I agree. Yeah. Right, I don't, I don't we, think it's just nostalgia. Should we continue to the sixth and the last? Yes. Uh, thank you for joining us. 
Taylor, you, where can they find us? You're not even going to pause it or anything? You're just going to keep going? No, I no, he's, off, he's doing his outro. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we got to... We got to cut it. I thought you were just, like, outro. continuing. Like, next episode. <laughs> Reserve. This Megabytes. is a four-hour-long podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Buckle up. Well, all you geeks out there, you know, as long as you got that internet, you can go on <laughs> As long Google. as you got that internet? I haven't got, tried. What about as- data? And yeah, you need data, so pay your phone bills and all that. You can't um, download a podcast without Wi-Fi. It won't let you if it's over like fifty megabytes, which really? ours always are. Yeah, so you need the internet. <laughs> yeah, you need the internet. Save the megabytes. So I haven't tried Ask Jeeves yet, but you can go on Google. Hey, I'll try Ask Jeeves. Yeah. Okay, do it now. Well, you hear well, heard you. it here. Um, go into Google. You go onto Facebook, and then in the search bar. You have to spell out Geekverse, okay? I'm assuming, like before, you know how to spell, so put it in Geekverse Podcast, and you will find us <laughs> in the top to of the list. We are there. Yes, and then on Twitter, you can find us at GeekverseCast for all weekly updates on news and uh, our cast and whatnot. Um, yeah, we got one more. I'm going to go, what is it? Return of the Jedi. We're going to return some Jedis, and yeah, that'll be it. So mm-hmm. it's our sign off. Can you find us on Axe Chiefs? Uh, we are the Geek First cast of the top one. There's someone else that's uh, actually at Geek First, but that's not us. Well, that is not us. We're at Geek First cast. So, anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Yes. Yeah. Bye. May, may the force be with yeah, you. May, and also with you. <laughs>